Do it, do, do it be Wednesday. It'd be Wednesday in the middle of the week, uh, depending on what your definition of the middle of the week is. But listen, you have to pick one of them. And um, if your week starts on Monday, the middle of the week is actually Thursday. But listen, we're not going to go into that, all right? We're not going to go into that. <laughs> it's Ari. Thank you very much for 28 months. How are we doing? Let me say hello to the people who have straight the donut. Hello. And why should I bother? And OMG, it's cake. And I'm on your leg. And Guffington and Pot Romer. Hello. And Coffee Cup Kai. And Nem Nem. And Mulk. Hello. Miss Guys of Benders. And Tom Bax. And Skull King. Hello. Are we vibing? Are we Newman? Are we zooming? Guoka, hello, Vita Rota. Yeah, hello, did someone say trains? Someone did say trains. It was me. When is when is day? When does day happen? Who could say? Art Carps, hello. Tragic Pest says Minecraft on Wednesday. Absolute treat. I was just feeling it. I was just feeling it. Burn the brown state, low watering princess, no escape. Hello. Um, Governor says finally got some time off for work. I could chill for a couple of days. That no, that is the business. That is business. Trains. Where? Not, not here. I don't have any trains. I mean, not yet. Um, I <laughs> trains in World Stream when I have um no idea. Maybe someday. Shiro Kibato, hello. Um, Gotia says, um, hey you human cake who jumps. It's me. How are you doing? Hello, hello, hello. Um, I was going to play before your eyes today, and I realized that I am my brain is a little too tired to deal with a very emotional game. So I was like, you know what? We had a great time on Monday. I very, very, very rarely stream Minecraft twice a week. So it's like, why don't we just do more of it? Why don't we just do more of it? Because there's lots of stuff. Like, the problem is when the Minecraft bug starts to bite me again, I get like 500 ideas of things I want to do. And I'm just like, I have to get them out of my brain now. Train gang rise up, lads, hands up. Who, who enjoys going on a train in real life as well? In real life, you know. Good news from Coffee Cup Kai of Adopt a Second Hand Blow High. Oh, excellent! Oh, second hand! Should hopefully arrive sometime soon. Does anyone have any name suggestions for a new friend? Do we have any good names for Coffee Coffee Cup Kai's shark? Because we gotta know. We gotta know. Polly Chicken, hello! Hello, hello, hello. I'm glad we have some train appreciators. I enjoy being on them, just don't enjoy the price. Yeah, that's the only thing. The price of tickets on the trains is something wicked. Like, it really, really is. It's, it's rough. Void Phil, thank you so much for 28 months. Choo choo, fella. Ikea shark enthusiasts. We got, we, we got, we got, we got shark here. We don't have Brie today. Brie is off on a little mission in the rest of the house. What's a train's favorite day? Choo choo's day. Call your shark. Ask a Langley, sorry you. Sorry you thought of that. Oh, goodness. Oh, great. We have some name suggestions. Gunther, Anchor. Oh, my God. The Anchor was the anchor was the shark in, um, what you call it, in Critter Cove yesterday, wasn't it? It was. Midlands Jida. Hello. As a train spotter, I appreciate this. I just, I, I, I don't know. To tell you the truth, I don't know as much as I'd like to know about trains in real life. But I just, I love making trains on the Minecraft server. Like, I just, I, I, I don't even end up doing most of the work. Like, it's, it's everyone else. I'm like, I have an idea and I, I blink and people have dug out the tunnel, decorated the tunnel, set up the, ri the, the rhinestone, the redstone. Like, how'd you do that? How'd you do that so fast? But I, I just, I love it. I love it. I did have a day once. Well, like, sometimes I will tear through and I'll do, um, I'll do a tunnel on my own, but I haven't done it in a while. I remember once I was sick off stream on like a Tuesday. Like I was, I, I don't know what was wrong with me, but I was in the horrors. I was sitting on the couch and I dug, I dug and decorated like a multiple thousand block tunnel while I was sitting on the, the couch. Cause I was just in the horrors. I couldn't do anything else. I was bored. I was just like, I'm going, I'm just going. <laughs> Stubby Myron, hello, how are you doing? Come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. Um, Midland says, I spent an unhealthy time of, a, a month, amount of time building a metro on Minecraft. Is it unhealthy if you enjoy it, though? 
if you're having a nice time, is it that unhealthy? As long as you're fed and watered and not, you know, not uh, shirking responsibilities, then how bad can it be? Mindless indulgence, hello, how are you doing? Are you well? Um, have you been on the dart? I have, I've been on the dart a fair bit. Um, the dart is nice, I mean, like, it is what it is. It could probably do with a, a, a bit of a power wash now, mind you, but um, trains in Ireland are nice, but they are expensive. They're not, like, fancy, but they're usually, like, if you have a, like, a, what's, like, a commuter train or, like, a longer train, they're usually nice. They're just pricey, you know? How interesting is this as a train enthusiast seeing the notification? Hello and hell yeah! Hell yeah! I love the older dart trains. The older ones are really nice. Hang on, I get old dart train. No, not old darts players. The, the ones, yeah, these, hang on, hang on, I get you. Is this the one? Oh, I don't know the names of any of the models of trains, but like, I just, they're kind of charming, you know? They're charming, look at that. Charming. The bench seat, the bench seats are quite sweet. They really, really are. Goffington says, I once took an overnight train across China. It was super fun. Everyone in my class was playing cards and hanging out in each other's rooms. That's so nice. I'd love to go on an overnight train. Like, I'm sure you'd be wrecked tired, but like, I love the experience, you know? Um, I also have some good news, not related to trains, but I have some very good news, lads. Today, we, um, we signed a lot of documents. And everything is locked in for our move. Three weeks today. 21 days until we can start moving. <laughs> 21 days until we get the keys. Ah! <laughs> 21 days! Three weeks from today. So I will... This day, three weeks, I won't be streaming. Because um, we will be staying... If we are able to, we want to stay in the house that night. And just go... Ah! And probably sleep on a mattress on the floor with like... I, I say camping light as well as good. There will be electricity, but like, I do have this camping light. I don't actually know why this is on my table. It's a little camping lantern. It kind of feels like a spike from, uh, what's it? The spike from Valorant. It looks nothing like it, but you know the way they're, they're always, those things are always glowy in the middle. I'm like, Tch -tch -tch, spike planted. <laughs> Kesa, how are you doing? Hello, hello, hello. 21 days, it's so soon. Ah! The packing process means things will be random places and no one can explain why. Um, you're probably gonna... I, actually, I don't know if you'd really even notice, but actually, you might. Um, over the course of the next two weeks, uh, and this is gonna sound really, really like, you know, it's it's so sad. It's... it's, it's... That's the wrong button. <laughs> it's like, you know, it's, 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 it's... You're gonna notice that things are slowly, slowly disappearing from the background. You'll notice that the background of the room is getting emptier and emptier and emptier. Don't worry, we, we might bring Sonic with us. But things are going to start disappearing. And soon, this room will be empty. And we will never stream from here again. And that's a really weird thing when I think about it. That's really weird. We're gonna have a little farewell stream. Like, the place will probably be empty. It'll just be, like, me and the PC and everything. <laughs> I don't feel so good, Mr. Jumper. <laughs> as long as Dave remains, everything's fine. Um, Dave is gonna come with us in, like, my handbag. We're not packing him up. Because we'd like all of our things to get there in one piece, wouldn't we, Dave? Yeah, that's alright. That's alright. Grub is... Oh, yeah, um, my, my grub, my Hollow Knight plushie's having a little nap. I wish I was that comfortable ever. I fell asleep in the car today. <laughs> and I'm still tired. Doom Dreams, hello, we're grand. How are you doing? I hope you're well, too. Um, Tom Pax says, on one hand, it's sad to leave the memories behind. On the other hand, this house has tried to kill you multiple times. See, that's the thing. Like, I'm kind of like, oh, it'll be really sad. I'm like, no, it won't. I can't wait. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, we'll have a farewell stream in here. We'll have a farewell stream in the kitchen. It's so, like, like we have signed this. It is real. It's happening. It's it's real. It's happening. There's no going like unless there's a meteor strike. It's it's happening. It's happening. It's happening for real. No, Dave's not getting left behind. I'm pushing him in my handbag so he's nice and safe. Like Shark is coming in the car with us because we're we're not monsters, you know. <laughs> it, don't jinx a cake. It's like oh, news just in. A meteor strike in the in the southeast. October meteor season, you know, like 10th of October 2023. Remember the meteor strike? Awful, really awful. <laughs> oh, goodness. 
So the new room, um, there are two rooms and I'm probably gonna take the smaller of the two because there is a big room. And I'm like, oh, big room. I'm like, if I have a big room, I'll fill it with stuff. I'll fill it with loads of stuff I don't need. And the room I'm looking at taking for my office, office stream room, it's about, it's like this much shorter, I think, than this room, but it's wider. So it is bigger overall, and I'm very excited to have a little more space for stuff and things as well. It's gonna be great. I'm so looking forward to it. And I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have a window, a window that isn't a full length door, and it, I, I'll be able to set the place up so that you won't be able to dox me if I have the wind, the curtains open, you know. <laughs> anyway, come here to me. We can keep chatting. Are we ready to play some Minecraft? Because we can, we can keep the tunes going, we can keep the chats going, we can keep it all going. And we can be crafting mines, you know. Crafting a mine. Um, Cake, bit random, but you heard this RPG called Sea of Stars. I actually have, I think, is it on Game Pass? Is it on Game Pass? Oh, banger tune. Because I think I've seen it. I think that's where I've seen it. Are you still going to be around Dublin? I'll probably still be in Dublin occasionally like, to see friends and stuff, but I, I won't be around as much. And I'm kind of looking forward to that, to be honest. Um, I don't hate Dublin. This, I laugh and I joke and I mess, but like, I don't actually hate the city. It's just, I don't want to live here anymore. I'm a culty. And this head bow is parting my hair really weirdly. I'm going to just take it off. I think it needs a bit of a TLC. Yeah, I just, I, I'm not made for living in the city this long, you know, it's, why is my taskbar? Where'd it go? Oh, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. How is the music volume, lads? Is it okay? Is it okay for you? Um, Head Pikachu <laughs> says, I can't wait for the first time your husband gets locked out of the new house on stream. Oh, we should do a countdown for it. We should do a countdown. I am in the Minecraft category, aren't I? I didn't imagine that, did I? Yeah, we're, we're moving out to the country. Now, we're not, like, going to the middle of nowhere because I can't drive and I would be stranded. I'm not going to tell you exactly where because I, I don't want to get doxxed. Yellow. I'm, I'm not going to get myself doxxed because that would not be fun to... <laughs> to move house and immediately dox myself by accident and be like, oh, oopsie. Oopsie. Okay, what's the beige and white thing on your mic? What's the beige and white thing on my mic? This? Th this, this here? Oh, Flapjack! Oh, that's Flapjack! She lives on my mic arm. She doesn't get in, in frame very often, but she's very cute. She has her own emote. She has cake juice stonks. She doesn't get on screen as often as I'd like because I don't really have anywhere to put her. Although I, I cut her on my head today. I don't know if she'll stay there. My hair is very sh slippy and shiny, do you know? Kova, how are you doing? Hello. <laughs> Let me guess, Ireland. Yes, we're staying in Ireland. Is this place perfect? No, but I, I do like Ireland. I do like living here. Never seen, seen Flapjack before, but I love her. Thank you. I think it was Miss Eliza Bennett. Oh, actually, Miss Eliza Bennett, did I ever tell you the story of Flapjack? So, you... Miss Eliza Bennett, I think, yeah, is here. Sent me Flapjack, I'm pretty sure it was you. Send it to my P.O. box, which is not open at the minute. Not open right now. And I got Flapjack, I was like, this is brilliant. And I looked at the, like, I think there was a little business card or something with it from the Etsy maker. I was like, oh, this looks really familiar. I was like, oh, like, maybe, I know, I couldn't, it, it didn't ring a bell. I found out not so long ago that I know the person that you ordered this from. I know the person who made this. Because cause this country is just so small. I, I saw them recently. They were they were vending at uh, DCC. They were like tabling in the artist alley. It was so funny because I, I had the moment of clarity. I was like, wait a second. <laughs> Puffle Master, hello. No one can spook you. Hello. And Mini Squash, nice hello to you. Hello. Behold, I have plans. Now, I know it's dangerous when I say I have plans. But. <gasps> Who it is? Bonjour. I require a flapjack plushie. If I have an online shop and shop and can send it to the US, if not, I will cry. I'll see if I can dig up the link for you. Unless you happen to still have it, Miss Liz Bennett, but I can see if I can find it for you because it is so cute. I'm gonna just turn up the in-game sound because it's very, very quiet. Is that alright for you? Hope so. Yaris, hello, where's our little short girl? She is in the the bedroom having a nap. A little, a little nap. Bag plants, how are you keeping? Hello. So come here to me. We have a line. Do you remember the island? Your uncle's island that we showed off there yesterday. And I think we showed it off before as well. And there's plots there for people to live. 
for free and it is connected now, Elanco connected into the Southeast Metro. Now what I'm thinking is we need a sign for here. We need to put the Southeast Metro on the map somehow. I'm not sure how. And I'd like to redesign a little bit of this tunnel. Now it has to stay. It's not it's not ideal, but it kind of has to say stay two blocks high or we bring it down another block here somewhere because there is a path directly above this. And you know whose fault that is? Mine. It's my fault. I put the path there. I put the path there. So we kind of, we're cutting it very fine. So we kind of have to keep it around there. So we could bring it down a little bit if we wanted. Is that? Yeah, that's there. <clears throat> oh, hang on. Sorry. I still have the timer from yesterday going. Let me just, uh, let me just fix that a second. Just bear with me. Bring it down one of you stairs to make a nice little arch. I was actually about to say I could probably bring it down one. Now I'd have to replace all the stuff, but like it's not it's not a big, big deal. Not a big deal at all at all. It'd be a-okay. Let me see. Where's me? Chatbot timer. Do 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 There it is. Okay, there we go. There we go. That's better. That's better. That's right. Awful Gamer, sorry to cut across everything and everyone. Awful Gamer, would you send me a whisper right now? Because un unless you want to join Discord, um, I need to send you... You won one of the codes yesterday. Message me, Awful Gamer. You won one of the codes for Critter Cove. I need to give it to you right now before I forget. <laughs> yes, I will. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Sorry, lads. Give me just one second. I, I want to make sure everyone gets their code. I don't want anyone left without their Critter Cove. And code and then I think I have one person there we go yellow I have one other person then to track down I want to make sure nobody misses out you know now if I can find where I say where did I hear this the only other person if anyone sees Moja Nazwa in chat let me know because they're the only other person I wasn't able to get in touch with to give the code I had to send a lot of them on discord last night because I just I don't know why I couldn't whisper through Twitch Twitch if I wasn't online it was very strange so okay back into the video game let's go yeah hey, yeah Netro, did I say hello to you or did I just think it out loud and Johansson hello we have an okay one one more just one more thing just one more thing we haven't spun the wheel of monotony Oh, Jesus, money to- Oh, he's, 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 he's okay, he's okay. There we go. The wheel of monotony is now spinning. And it will continue to spin forever. <laughs> Sappho Small Dog, thank you for 22 months. That is nearly two years. Can you believe it? How are you keeping? Come in, come in, come in. Tony needs to stop giving people mono. Oh, goodness. Oh dear, you know what? I should probably widen this a bit here. It's a bit, you know, it's a, oh wait, no, no, hang on, hang on. If I start working on this, so listen, what my brain wants to do and what probably makes sense is I want to take out one block on either side here to make this a little bit wider so it matches up with here. But then I'm looking at this and I'm like, wouldn't this look nice if there was just one block down the middle? And then we want to, you know, bring it down one as well. And then we end up having to change everything. So it's, we'll do it eventually, but you know, that's the plan. We can change it soon. Ray64, hello. Looks like you and my parents will be moving on around the same time. Oh, that's so good. Oh, I hope the move goes well for them. I really, really hope so. It goes very, very well. Actually, do you know what? I could... No. I was like, I could tidy these up. No, I'm going to tidy the signs up when we're doing this properly. When we're doing the whole thing. Uh, so yeah, the ceiling's very low. Do you ever walk into a room in Minecraft and you can almost feel the low ceiling on your own head in real life? Yeah, you kind of get the ooh, feeling. Hang on, my camera's a bit sideways. That's better. That's better. Oh, Blue Loop and hello. Not much. How are you doing yourself? Come in, come in, come in. Is your game in full Irish? Wait, is it? No, it's not. It's not in Irish. It's actually in... Um, it's in Lolcat. But I can put it in Irish. Hang on. They do have an Irish translation. And it's, it's pretty good, to be honest. Where is it now? Gwaelaga, Gwaelaga, Cawil, Gwaelaga, Cawil, Shea, Cawil, Gwaelaga. I feel like I've gone through it like... A... Oh, is this... I think this is Cornish. I'm almost sure that's Cornish. I'm not I'm not hundred percent. Caroline, hello and thank you for 33 months. How are you doing? Come in, come in, come in, come in. Are you well? Cornish is such a cool language. Where on earth is Irish? I've put it into Irish a fair few times. Oh, banger tune. Okay, everybody, eyes peeled. Cornish. 
Is somebody throwing something and am I picking it up and putting it into my inventory? Wait, have I gone past it? There it is. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. Oh, someone give me flowers. Was that you, Miss Lesbana? Thank you. Thank you. Blowhouse Supremacy, incredible name. How are you doing? I just realized I have no food at all with me. I'm going to grab some food and come back. Cornish is a doomed language with no fluent speakers remaining. That's such a shame. Um, I know that Manx language has had a very big revival. Now, I think there were very, very... Wait, hang on. Is it Cornish or Manx where the last two remaining fluent like native speakers refused they needed recordings of people speaking the language but they hated each other and they refused to talk to each other i can't remember what language it was i might be neither of them but i remember this very vividly that like everyone was like yeah to preserve this language we need recordings of it so that if people want to learn the language and keep it alive you know they don't have to phone either of you up it does sound like a bit of a cornwall thing yellow it sounds like a very cornwall thing not that i've ever been to cornwall don't tell them i like I like their food. Don't 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 tell them I said that. They might ban me. <laughs> Never been, but you know. Oh goodness. When the pettiness surpasses duty, like that that's bad. The, I don't know what they fell out over, but it must have been serious, you know. Oh, the sheep is enjoying the little thing I made. Oh the sheep likes my cool bench. I also made a really nice cup of tea. Oh, it's really good. Does Cornish let you talk to corn? I hear it's all ears. Hey, woo! Bow, 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 bow. Um, yeah, but anyway, sorry. I was saying about the Manx language that I'm almost sure I heard that on the Isle of Man, the, the language was dying out. Like, I, it was essentially dead at the time. But they have a Manx-speaking primary school, if I remember right. And they just started teaching all the kids Manx. And the kids started speaking Manx. And then all the kids were talking to each other in Manx. And then the parents were like, well, we don't know what the kids are saying. So now we have to learn Manx. So, <laughs> And I think that's neat. I don't know if it's still going. I really, really hope it is. But I think that's funny. Okay. Something I actually think I want to work on is the Cozy Cove Express. Because this is an existing rail line. But I dug it out in one sitting. It's not a very, very long line. It is very fast, it's not very long, and it has never been decorated. It's never, ever, ever been decorated, and I think it deserves more than this. I made this entire tunnel and put all the rails down while listening to like one or two episodes of the Blind Boy podcast a couple of years ago, and I never actually decorated it, so I'm going to start like digging out parts of it, and we can we can think of a plan. If anyone has ideas as well for decorating it, I'm all ears. Oh, there, there, she, there she goes. Imagine all students just start teaching a different language. I think that's great. I, I think it's excellent. Like, go for it. Why not? Do you know the Isle of the Island of Sodor, the Thomas Place, has its own fictional language, Suderic. It's based from Manx and Gaelic. Oh, where is that? No, I don't think I've heard of it. I love hearing about places with, with cool language things. Cool language things. Jake Jay, did I say hello to you? Hello, how are you doing? Are you well? Ba-ding. I broke a block somewhere earlier today in... I say earlier today, like an hour ago at most in Minecraft and there was a silverfish in it. And I had completely forgotten that silverfish were a thing in Minecraft and it frightened the life out of me. Absolutely terrified me. I didn't know what it was. I, once I saw what it was, it was fine, but I just got such a scare. Oh, good. Oh, the fictional island from Thomas the Tank Engine. Oh, when you said Thomas, I was like, oh, maybe this is just... Maybe there's some context I'm entirely missing here. I don't know. Betley Betty, hello, how are you doing? Karen says I'm doing pretty much, still very much sick, but at least I got myself to a f oh to get a frozen pizza and snacks. Oh. Oh, that's okay. We can do with this. Uh. Eat. Hang on, we're going to just. Whew. We can maybe we can just we can just. Oh dear. Maybe we can just fill it up. Just, just. There's definitely an easier, better way that I could be doing this, but I'm not doing it. And I don't know why. I'm making this way more difficult on myself than it needs to be. Well, you know what? Feck it, it works. Womp. Womp. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, good. We're all good. We're all good. Um, oh, um, Random Well says the way back doesn't put a minecart on the rail. Is this on the Cozy Cove line? You saw that. Well, I must know. 
Um, how interesting says I heard the first bit of Gaelic and went gay where to myself what have I become hey listen you have to keep an eye out you know you, you never know sometimes the gate are switched off you have to you have to be you know you have to be sharp you have to be sharp oh good news from Jeff we love to see it first of all um, switching over to a cloth star PNG tuber has made me a lot more comfortable on stream and everyone seems to like it it's nice not worry about my facial expression anymore um, also opened some packs the other day and got my first serial numbered card that was number one is that important no is it neat yes I think that's sick oh my goodness lads can we get a shout out for Jeff lads if you're not already following Jeff did you know that Jeff is a PNG tuber now of a cloth star and it's excellent it's absolutely excellent. It is very, very good. It is very, very cute. And Jeff does be playing games. Does a lot of randomizers and challenges and stuff. So if you like that, get yourself over there immediately. Immediately. Right now, this minute. Otter Rock, how are you doing? Hello, hello, hello. Wait, it got better. The Claude Sire has a redeemable cowboy hat. Feldsworth says we applaud the Claude. Please, can we get a little... For Claude Sire PNG YouTuber. I think that's excellent. That's so, so good. A web thing. Lovely to see you. How are you doing? Come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. Um, Wonder Princess says, Thank you, Kate, for showing Irish for Minecraft. Now I can learn a little more when not doing lessons. Yes. Learning by osmosis is, is great. And especially if there's anything you enjoy, especially like a video game, Minecraft, anything like that, and you can put it in Irish. Like, you mightn't think you're using the language when you're reading the menus and stuff, but it, it, it's, it's sinking in and it's keeping it like fresh in the brain. Fresh in the brain. Like, even in the subtitles, you have Plob Arrow, which is, like, sound of item falling, like, item falling. Brisha Block, which is a block breaking. Kush Kamena, which is footsteps. Uh, lots of free fuckles today, lads. And... Do, do, oh. Uh, probably, yeah, I'll come back for oars and stuff later. I learned Irish more fluently via osmosis. It's a great way to do it. Like, and for any language, and for anything, really, that's kind of like that. If you're learning it at your own pace, you know, on your own terms, it's great. It's great. That's so good. Bonnie the Bunny, how are you doing as well? Come in, come in, come in, come in. Oh, lads, do you want to know about the sandwich I had today? I know, really, really high high value entertainment I give you, but I had an incredible sandwich. I need to tell you about it. It was turkey, yerky, rurky. It was turkey, relish, brie, on like a ciabatta style bread. And it was. I know it doesn't sound very complicated or anything, but like, oh my god, I, I did I tell I don't know if I told you what happened with my my little thing of brie I had the other day. I had a a thing of brie that I was saving in the fridge. I think I must have shown it to you on stream once. I was like, oh, I got my cool brie and I'm gonna have it soon. Uh, a little thing of brie cheese, and I opened it was smoked brie. I was like, oh, this will be nice, a nice light smoky flavor. And then I went to eat it, and I swear to God, it tasted like the smell of cigarette ash. And I couldn't eat it. It was very sad. So having some nice brie was excellent. <gasps> Good news from Helen. Hello. Hang on. Hang on. I get your message back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Uh, maybe a small thing, but I was away helping with Denmark's biggest scout race once again this weekend. I'm still amazed at how tough kids are. Also, Pon Ponyo, my almost one-year-old kitten, was being looked after by some of my neighbors. And he did so well. Oh. Now I'm friends with the neighbors, and we keep sending pet pictures back and forth. That is excellent. Also, yeah, kids are well able for it. Like. Like, kids are made of steel for everything. That sounds so cool. I hope you had a great time. And I, I'm very, very proud of Ponyo. Very proud of Ponyo for getting on well. Ponyo's only a baby still, you know? I don't remember how exactly it's spelled, so apologies. But seeing Irish Railways is Erin and Rodair and it's interesting language. It's so cool. It's so cool. Like, really, really so, so cool. So sick. But yeah, I had really nice brie cheese in a sandwich. And now I, I feel, I feel complete again. Yes, yeah, cigarette brie. It was it was really really bad. Like I, I I know it sounds silly. It threw off like my whole next full day. I was just so sad because I was like, oh, you know, it'd be like because you know when you get brie and it's at room temperature, you've left it out the fridge for a while, and it gets like a little bit like melty, and it, the flavor is so much richer. And I was like, I'm so ready, and it was just it just wasn't it. Just wasn't it. Helen says, 12 to 16 year olds walking 40 to 60 kilometers over 30 hours on little sleep up being hunted by older scouts. I couldn't do that when I was their age. Like, I don't know how people do it. Like, th that said, I suppose like in school, now I was never in the scouts, which I know was much, much tougher going. 
like really really much tougher going but in school we used to go and do like big hikes and stuff especially in ty and we would literally we'd start walking at 10 a.m we'd finish up at like 7 we'd take a few breaks in the middle and we'd be fine like we once we got into where we're staying we'd be jumping around the place we'd be running up and down like we'd still have loads of energy i don't know how they also didn't know where they'd end before like two to four hours before that's mad sounds fun though like i'd say that's great like big memories for them as well i'm sure okay I'm going to dig out another layer of the ceiling, I think. Yellow. What you got? Oh, 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 oh ho. Kay Green, lovely to see you. How are you doing? Come in, come in, come in. Never sure says I got a smoked provolone block. It was so nasty. We gave it to church. And that's a nasty don't. Oh, oh, that's rough. Oh, you think you fixed the redstone? The one up there, is it? Give it up for random world. Because I, I actually think I saw this, that at this end, on the way back, the, the thing wasn't dispensing minecarts. Or maybe it was on this end. I'm actually not sure which end it was. I'm all right, hope all is well for y'all so far, so good. We're having a good chat about cheese and Minecraft. I'm digging out this tunnel a little better, and I hope we can make it nice, because Cozy Cove is really nice. Actually, hang on, hands up. Is there anyone here who has not seen Cozy Cove? on the server. I did not build it. I cannot take credit for it. It was founded by Sacradir. <clears throat> Excuse me. And a lot of it was built by her and a lot of it was built by a couple of other people. So I'm not taking any credit for this. I, I did not do... Gopipa Baha! No, no, back away. Away. I'm not falling for you. No, not another... No. No. Do you know those rails cost money, sir? No respect, lads. No, why did I do that? No respect. <laughs> Actually, I don't know why I put a torch there. I have to immediately break that. Oh, goodness. Severe delays. <laughs> Severe delays on the line today due to creepers. Oh, goodness. Ashley Badger, go enjoy your lurk. Have a good owl time. Have a good, good one. <laughs> the cake speaks simlish. I just, if I get scared by something in a video game, it's just sweary. I usually just go, Oh, it's a fair few of you haven't seen Cozy Cove. Hang on, I'm going to dig all the way down to here. And before we turn back, I'll show you Cozy Cove. It's very nice. It's very, very pretty. The creeper respawned. That's illegal. I think the two buddies were up there and I must have, I must have disturbed them. Like, they must have been having a great old chat about something important. I've played Cozy Grove, not seen Cozy Cove. I've actually not played Cozy Grove, and I, I've thought about it, because it, it looks fun. Warlock, lovely to see ya. I hate drop creepers, don't we all? Don't we all? Just like drop bears, you know? Oh, they were in love. Maybe they were. Minecraft creepers in love. And now they're both gone. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Ta -da. It's like I'm across the beach, give ghosts therapy. I mean, you do have to kind of give Wisp therapy in Animal Crossing, but he only shows up like once a month, but... Huh. I might give it a go. I feel like I saw someone playing it. Like, was it about maybe a year ago? I don't know if it came out a year ago or if it was just really busy, but... Creepers in Lush Caves are not only something else, but cruel, because Lush Caves are gorgeous, and then suddenly you have a massive creeper crater in there. And you're just like, what, why, what did I do to deserve this? Worst ones are in caves that they fall from ledges, yes, and you know if you're in a ravine, like an underground ravine, and you have everything lit up really nicely. Like, it's all really well spawn-proofed, you know. It's very, very tidy job altogether. But there's one high up ledge that you've obviously missed. And a creeper falls. Just a short enough fall that it doesn't kill it. But a long enough one that you cannot see it coming. And then it just explodes in front of you and you die. Okay, great. So sorry, gotta drop out. Want to stay, stop by and say hello. Lovely to see you. Go do what you gotta do. And we will catch you again soon. Be good to your good self. Jedi has ordered some stickers from a seller in the States. Total, order total 8 quids. Shipping and taxes 21. Oh, shipping is ridiculous from some places. And like, I, I feel so bad because I don't like to complain about it because it's never the seller's fault, you know? Sellers would make the shipping free if they could. It doesn't affect them in that way. But often I see like a... I'll see a really nice enamel pin or a sticker sheet or something and it's being, it's being shipped from the US or somewhere nearby 
And I'll be like, okay, this pin is like eight or nine euro. That's not that bad. And then I look at the shipping and it's like 25 euro. And I'm like... I have just pulled the trigger on buying stuff occasionally, especially if it's very nice or if I really, really like the artist or whatever. Sir Quince, lovely to see you. How are you doing? Come in, come in, come in. Overseas shipping is nuts sometimes. It really, really is. Like, it gets crazy very, very fast. Okay, I'm going to show you Cozy Cove because this is the end of this bit. I love the way... It feels a bit cheaty, but I do like the way the shaders make the, the ore glow. Mm. And the same issue with stuff from Europe makes me sad. It's such a shame. Like, it really, really is. I feel like it used to not be quite as bad. Like, it was never super cheap. But I remember when I like when I would have been buying things, like, small bits online 10 years ago even. It wasn't cheap, but it felt like it wasn't quite that expensive. You could have the thrower. Or have the shipper. I'm going to start that again. Have the seller. I got there eventually. Have the seller throw it to you very hard to save on shipping. You could. Oh, it's working. Nice. Fair play to you, Mil. Fair play to you. Kobe Abriel says, Shipping on Dan's and Two Foot Cupcake plush is crazy to even in the US. I remember he, uh, he actually was talking about that once. He was he was telling me about the, the plush and he was like, yeah, the shipping for that one is insane. <laughs> Welcome to Cozy Cove. Behold. Now, I know Sacrodeer doesn't tend to be online as much anymore, but last I heard, people are free to move in here if, you, if they want. If you want to make a nice little cute house. And uh, why have a minecart system if you can just fly? Because I'm the only one who can fly. <laughs> and no one, like, people have elytra and stuff, but I'm the only one who can fly freely like that because I'm. Because I am God here. <laughs> oh, goodness. Nixter, how are you doing? Come in, come in, come in. Amber, she says, I won't order from outside of the EU because dealing with German customs is infuriating. They turn up with your package and demand a random amount of money, cash only at your door, or goes back to the depot and you have to haul ass to get it. It used to be like that here. It used to be much worse. Like, it's gotten it's gotten easier to pay customs and they've gotten a little less insane about the way they calculate it. Because I remember, she's oh, ages ago, I, I ordered, and this was from Japan, so it was coming a long way, I ordered a pair of shoes that were 25 euro. And, like... I don't know, like a headdress or something. Like, total, it was no more than 35, 40 euro total. And I got charged something like 30 euro customs on it. I was like, that's not... That's made up. That's a made up amount of money. There is no way that's 20% of that, you know? I love this place. It's so pretty. It's so, so pretty. Look at this. Look at this. Hang on, I'm gonna do... Hang on. Uh, going to play God with the time for a sec. Time set. Sunset. Look at this. This is a cozy cove, you know I mean? And you just have to say it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Salty Bob, how are you doing? Come in, come in, come in. And Treasure Pasta says, I think I've flown Elytra past this place. It's gorgeous. It is so, so pretty. Like, there's so much effort put in. It's so pretty. Can this be real? I wish. I wish. Um, Sacrodeer would sometimes do fireworks displays off the boat, which was really, really sick. Like, so, so cool. Little bee. Wait, is this bee stuck? Y you okay, buddy? Hang on, let me let me free you there. Is the bee trying to get to the flower? Are these... Hang on, there's a bee that's just sitting over here. Some of them... Oh, I see. I think the bee is trying to get back to the hive and it's kind of stuck. Hang on, I'm just going to... Go on, little bee. Go on, off you go, little buddy. Off you go. There we go. Now, off you go. The lights underwater look like it's reflecting stars. Right? It's so pretty. So, so, so pretty. Um, Amber, she says, the handling fees that get me. Someone in the UK sent me a Christmas card in the wrong type of envelope and cost me 16 euro to receive a Christmas card. I've definitely seen places say that, like, they won't ship to Germany anymore. And it's such a shame. Like, it's, it's such a pain. We had, oh my goodness, have I told you about the Tarek codes? So, we had a whole thing for a couple of months. I, I think it's kind of a bit more sorted out now, but we had a thing where if you tried to send something to Ireland and it didn't have the correct Tarek code on it. Now, nobody seemed to know what a Tarek code was, but if you didn't have it on your parcel, they would just send it back. They, they wouldn't even ask you about it. They'd just be like, no, send it back. I had a parcel turned around twice because it didn't have this tarot code on it, even though it had it had codes of like what the items inside were, what the value was. It had all the information. They were like, you don't have this code and we won't tell you how to get it. Tough. So 
the person I was buying it off just had to send it a different way. It was very, very silly. Like, and it was happening, people were having gifts sent to them, and because the person sending the gift had never heard of a tarot code, yeah, it's for customs, but nobody ever told anyone. Like, there was no, oh, from this date, you have to put this on here. Like, they just rolled it out really quietly and then started sending everyone's posts back. It was so weird. It was so weird. Um, Cake, any games on your radar lately? Ooh. There's one that was... Re re uh, uh, sorry, I'm going to start that whole sentence again. I'm going to take a sip of tea and start the sentence again. There is... A game that's been recommended in suggestion box over in Discord a couple of times. And I think I might check it out because it looks excellent. I might play it like next week or something. It's called Later Alligator and it's set in, what's it like, Alligator New York City. And it just looks like great fun. I really want to check it out sometime soon. It looks really, really good. Great fun. Um, another game I want to play at some point that I have in my Steam library. I was nearly going to do it today, but... Then I thought of Before Your Eyes, and then I was like, no, we'll play Minecraft. Um, I have Little Misfortune, and I really want to play it. I think it's just like a one-stream game. It's not very long, but I've heard very good things about it. Like, it's just, it's just you know, it's, it's there. I want to play some spooky games as well. Like, some spooky, scary games. Some cute ones, some actual scary ones. I, I want to play Phasma on stream again sometime. Especially next month, I'd love to. It'd be great fun. Um, Sir Quinn says, we have 10,000 part numbers. They all needed them added. Otherwise, customs gets mad. Oh. Oh, pain. Oh, you suggested that one. Fair play to you. There's another one as well. There's a game There's a game that's coming out this day next week. And it's about petting dinosaurs. And I keep forgetting what it's called. But someone suggested it in Discord. And a friend of mine actually suggested it to me. As well. I can't remember what it's called. Um, Paleo. Some Paleo Pines. That's exactly it. It looks really, really cute. I think that could be cute. Paleo Pine, sorry, Pine Singular. <laughs> oh, middle, Little Misfortune's good. It got genuine tears out of me. I, I'm excited to give it a go. And Daughter of a Dance is going such a great game. I'm, it's on the list. Oh, it's on the list. Showbatronics says, I found a shop in France that has reasonable prices for Selkie dresses, but I'm scared of the tax and customs. Oh, Selkie dresses are nice as well. I have a friend, actually a friend of mine wore a selkie dress to my wedding and she she looked so cool. Like, oh, it was so, so nice. Oh, Otter Rock, that's, I was trying to remember, there's a game that I want to play sometime soon. Night in the Woods is exactly it. So I started, I played Night in the Woods for maybe two days, two streams in 2020. And then I was like, okay, I'm not in the furry of my mind to play this. So now it is back on the brain and I want to play it this year. I'm ready. I'm ready. This is the year. We play Night in the Woods. I want to play loads of spooky autumn games. I want to play lots of nice, atmospheric, crunchy leaf games, you know? You know, crunchy leaf. Maybe a crunchy leaf. Okay, is that enough ceiling dug out? Eh, probably. Night in the Woods is my favorite game ever. I'm so excited to play it because, like, I loved all the characters. The only reason I couldn't finish it was too much existential dread. Too much existential dread. I couldn't do it. Sir Kids, thank you so much for your prime. You're very kind. You're three good, in fact. Three good. Okay, I'm going to start digging out the walls. I'm going to leave the redstone stuff intact until we start moving stuff around properly. Plus one of the spooky games. I'm so, oh, I'm so excited. Um, I'm thinking we might play Costume Quest because I haven't played that in years. And it's just such a fun game. Like, it's so funny. It's so silly. And it's it's a fairly laid back play, you know? It's fun. Out of curiosity, Cake, would you play Baldur's Gate 3 on stream? I... I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I've not really played a game like it before. But I wouldn't rule out it entirely. Like, that's just the way I'm looking at it. I'm, I'm never ruling out any games anymore. Because, who knows? I might just get a mad, mad notion. And what's Costume Quest? I think I haven't, but I never played it. Oh, Costume Quest is you play as one of a pair of twins... And the other twin, the one you don't play as, gets kidnapped by... Oh my god, I don't remember what they're called. These monsters. And it's... It, it's uh, Halloween. So you're dressed up and you're ready to go out trick-or-treating. And you have to go around. You have to pretty much get your your sibling back. And it is so much fun. There's like It's turn-based combat in some parts. You can ro go around and just hit the place. You have to participate in mini-games. It's really, really, really sweet. Really fun. It's exactly... It's such a good level of Halloween vibes, Halloween coziness. Oh, it's great. It's so good. There's a second one as well. I played both, but I think the first one is The Shining Star. It's just excellent. Excellent. Um, Baldur's Gate 3 is really friendly to pe people new to CRPGs. I might give it a go. I mean, I might. I could. 
I've heard good things about it. I mean, nothing but good things, to tell you the truth. I don't think I've heard anything bad about it. Um, speaking of Halloween, coziness, night in the woods, pretty pleased with the server down at the top. It's on the list, don't worry. I need to actually write a list. Also, hello, Endeavor. How are you keeping? Are you well? What vegetables did you buy? Are you going to use them? I hope so. Um, Ballad of Great 3, if you've never played something like before, might be honestly a better thing to stream multiplayer because then you only have to think about the control and mechanics of one character rather than the whole party. Oh, actually, that's a good point because I had a lot of trouble with um, one of the Dragon Age games. It was recommended to me and I, it sounds silly, it's not that I can't multitask, but I found it incredibly hard to keep up with all of the members of the party and I couldn't get past like the tutorial stage because I felt like they kept running in and dying and I couldn't control them fast enough if that makes sense i probably could do it now if i went back and tried but i got really frustrated with it i ended up dropping it um i probably should have just gone to the really good dragon age game that everybody recommends you know oh sir quince says dragon age one is great after that kind of goes downhill i think it was um inquisition that was recommended to me but someone told me to play origins first so i did and that's where the problem started so oh geez we have a lot of stone there now We've, we've still got a lot of stone there now. Here we go. I've heard Beacon Combines is a good, cozy, creepy game. I actually, I think it's on Game Pass. I was looking at that and I was looking up about it. I'll be up for it. I'll be up for it. I just, like, I want to see because I will probably have to take a couple of days off here and there in October again because we're going to be moving house. <laughs> um, but I want to try to schedule in a fair few spooky, cozy games. I'm definitely, like, there is no question about it. We're playing Little Nightmares 2. We're playing Little Nightmares 2. It's, uh, Beacon Pines is leaving Game Pass this month. It's leaving on the 1st of October. So, if I happen to have time to play it before then, <clears throat> hmm. it could happen. It could happen. Wait, what could this be? Ah, I got high speed on this, that's fine. Dimorphodon, hello. The only bad thing I've heard of Baldur's Gate 3 is that the pacing's a bit off later in the game, but if that's all the criticism the gamers can conjure, then it must be a fantastic game. Yeah, I mean, like, then, then it's probably pretty good, to be honest. Um, Nemnem says, I cannot recommend Oxenfree and Oxenfree 2. I, oh, I can recommend. I was like, I oh, okay, I will play them. Uh, I played both right after, right after release and loved them. I, I've heard really good things about Oxenfree. Really, really, really good things. Yeah, Oxenfree 2 has been out for a while from what I remember. Well, okay, a while for me could be anything from five days to five months, so. You know. You know. You know. <gasps> How interesting! We'll see you soon! Look after yourself. Be good, be good, be good. <clears throat> I'm thinking that for this tunnel, we could probably decorate it in a similar style to Cozy Cove itself, just to keep the theme running, you know? Since it goes fairly direct to there. Um, Govington says, speaking to someone relatively new here, have you tried a short hike? I have. I played it on a, I think it was a charity stream there back in 2021, and it's just excellent. It's a gore, it's a gorgeous game. Like, it really, really is beautiful. I love games like that. Um, short hike, I, what else would I put in that category? A short hike, um, little gator game. There's another one we played that I think has a similar kind of vibe, and I can't remember what it's called now. But I, I love games with that little feel. I don't know, there's a good feel to it, you know? Gator game was excellent. Little Gator game was so, so charming. Like, it really, really was. It was so, so nice. I really enjoyed it. I'd play another one. Alba has a similar feeling, actually. You're right. Alba, uh, Wildlife. I can't remember the full title, but it was really good. I did nearly go mad looking for the... What was that last bird I couldn't find? And it wasn't even that hard to find in the end. It was just... It was just awkward. Maybe part of the tunnel's decorated like the main area, and then after one of the natural caves, it turns into a cozy cove thing. Maybe. That could actually be quite nice. We have another... <laughs> oh! You can see another tunnel going through down here. I think that's probably enough spawn-proofing for down here. I'll just put another torch here. Bit of security, you know? Bit of... insurance. Whoop! Um, Alba, what's... What's the full title? It's a game where, um... I can't remember. I mean, I remember what happens. You play as a, a young girl staying with her grandparents and you go around taking pictures of wildlife and 
helping the wildlife sanctuary and that kind of stuff. But I don't remember the full. It's wildlife adventure. I think that might be it. I think so. I think so. I keep taking out bits of the floor here. <laughs> oh goodness. And uh, Mason on Trail says, "Does anyone know if it's bad that a my laptop is stuck?" A stock update and won't update after a factory set because of a previous stock update. And B, an essential app is missing completely. What essential app is missing? Like, do you mean it's uninstalled itself? That's... That's a bit strange. That is a bit strange, I have to say. I always freak out if something updates for a little too long. I don't know. It, it feels wrong. It feels like everything is about to go on fire. Because I feel like there was a spate. Maybe it was just that I was very unlucky myself. But there was a spate of, like, Windows updates just failing on machines and messing stuff up quite badly. Like, maybe 10 years ago or so. Sounds like you need to reinstall the operating system. It, possibly. I hope you have access to anything you need on there. I'm just gonna get these. The Microsoft Store app on your Windows 10 laptop is completely gone. Oh, that's, that's an issue. That's not ideal. <laughs> not, not great if you've been using it. I will only let Windows update my PC over my cold dead corpse. I, you know, something I really miss in the Windows interface. In the UI, if you will. I miss window border transparency. It's such a tiny little thing. I just thought it was a really nice touch. I just thought it looked cool, you know, the kind of aero effect. And I think it still had that in Windows 10 because, 10 because my stream PC runs Windows 10, but my main PC has Windows 11. And it's, I mean, it's all right, you know, it's, 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 it's all right. There was one up Windows update that tipped me over the edge and made me get you Ubuntu and got rid of an application essential to me. Oh. Now that drive me mad. I wouldn't be able for that. You know, listen, maybe this is a bold choice to say this out loud. Maybe this is strange, but I wish... I wish Windows as an operating system was just simpler overall, but I wish it still looked like it did with Windows Vista. I think... And stay with me. I think the aesthetic of Windows Vista was... So cool. I thought it was so, so cool. The aero theme was gorgeous. The little, like, the, the 3D effect on, like, the task the taskbar button. I just thought it was so nice. Like, I know people used to, like, joke about, like, oh, Windows Vista is terrible and all this kind of stuff. But, like, I was lucky enough, like, Windows Vista never gave me any trouble. Now, mind you, I was using it for very simple things. But I just thought it looked really, really nice. We need to bring back, yeah, multicolored transparent technology. Like, you know, Game Boys and Game Boy Advances and controllers that are, like, different colors and see-through. I think it's neat. I think it's very cool. Uh, Caroline says, I hate whenever I click the update and shut down when it needs to update. I plan on going to sleep. It updates and restarts. I thought I was going mad for the longest time. For the longest time because I kept pressing update and shut down and it kept updating and restarting and I would come back into the I come back into the room after like 20 minutes I'll be like have I I convinced myself that I was pressing the wrong button I got gaslit by windows I got gaslit by windows update because it kept doing that I was like so I have to then just check back in on it every so often to be like hey have you gone back to sleep yet I have fond memories of Vista yeah me too I had Vista on my first laptop and I thought it was neat I thought it was neat. Kubi says, it's Windows XP silver theme, fight me. Windows XP was quite charming as well, you know. And Polychicken says, appearance doesn't matter as much as how functional it is, but Windows getting too functional and logging every app you open on your PC is awful too. Yeah. Yeah. You know what should be punishable by instant banishment to the dungeons? Ads in the start menu. Lads, I don't know. I don't know how much I can keep hogging through the pain. Ads in the start menu is one of my many final straws. Like, honest to God, I'm... I'm gonna walk up to the Microsoft office and I'm going to... I'm going... I'm not gonna break one of their windows. I'm just gonna sellotape things to their windows. I'm gonna sellotape ads facing inwards on their windows. It drives me mad. There's no need for it. Link Spay, hello, how are you doing? We're digging out the walls of this old tunnel so that we can decorate it. How are you doing? Come in, come in, come in. YouTube thumbnail style ads have appeared on my YouTube homepage today. I want to... <laughs> It's so rough, like, it's so inescapable. 
And um, Mulk says, meanwhile, I kept pressing the update and shut down only for the thing to not update. Pain, 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 pain. Also, unnecessary software on your laptop at launch. Jail, jail for 1,000 years. I agree. No, do you know what's, you know what's the worst? Do you know when you get a new laptop or a PC or anything? And you're like, excellent, hooray. And you get... It's one thing getting some software that you're like, okay, I'm probably never going to use this. Getting trial software. Trial software that then wants you to pay for the full thing and pesters you and pesters you and pesters you to buy the full thing. Evil. A thousand years dungeon, forever dungeon, into dungeon forever. Kingfisher Games, hello, my phone won't charge, so my folks are um, calling an Uber for me to Best Buy so I can get an upgrade. Oh, let us know how you get on. I hope you get a nice new phone. I hope so. That does not give you any trouble and does all the things you want it to. Oh, you mean Winrar? Oh, to be fair, Winrar does do what it's supposed to do, you know? I'll give Winrar the good credit that, like, it still works even if you don't buy the full version. Like, it just keeps going. Big shout out to Winrar. Hmm. I suppose I'll have to widen this. When I bought my new laptop, I got a pop up. Mc McAfee has expired 296 days ago. Oh, God. Oh, God, McAfee. Oh, dear. 7 zip is better. 7 zip is pretty decent. I use WinRAR just because I'm familiar with it, I suppose. What's worse than bloatware on Windows is unremovable bloatware on Android. Oh, my God. All of the. All the Samsung, listen, I like my Samsung phone, don't get me wrong. All the Samsung own brand apps and software that I'm never going to use. Not in a million bajillion years am I going to buy something on the Samsung app store or download something from the Samsung app store. Mm -mm. Like me, I personally, I just don't have a use for it, you know? You know? Uh, I put all the Samsung apps in a folder and never open the folder. Problem solved. My problem is it force updates them sometimes. And sometimes I'm like, maybe I should just install stock Android on my phone. But then I'm also like, no, I, I don't want to mess up my phone. Because I probably would have the misfortune of messing it up somehow. My phone refuses to let me uninstall Facebook. I think so does mine. Now, mind you, I've, I've had to start using it again just for, for friend things. I say have to. I've, I've done this by choice. But it's weird that it just straight up does not let you remove stuff. Like, that's... That feels like something the European Union is about to crack down on. Although, mind you, we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna update my phone soon, so he keeps interrupting everything I'm doing to tell me I need to update. Aww. Aww. Oh, I think that- Oh, there are! There's decapitations happening on the server. Everybody say, Woo! Hooray for decapitations! Plan B, what's the shark's name? This is Oscar. And you can give him a hug if you'd like. Exclamation mark, hug shark. It's free. It's easy. You can give him a hug today. A <laughs> French revolution's going on on the server. Way! You can disable the apps and restore default and replace it with a tiny version that doesn't update. That's what I think I've managed to do for most of them. But it, it, every so often it comes up with something new. I'm like, you just made that up. Phone, you just made that up to mess with me. <laughs> oh, oopsie. One thing I hate is that Xiaomi forces you to wait an entire week just to begin the process of getting a new ROM onto it. That's very weird. I don't like that. That's very weird. Oh, goodness. Do, 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 do. Helene says, hey, so I was trying to go home to, from uni by laps. I said, nope, Windows update. Do you remember when la Windows updates were completely, completely unskippable? And you could be like working on an essay and it would just be like, mm -mm, Windows update time. And it would go for like an hour. I remember a couple of times in college, I'd have myself settled in the library. I'd be ready to go. I'd be about to crack into an essay and Windows update. 45 minutes of my life gone. 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 I'd never get it back. Gone. Gone. Gone forever. It's worth it having... What's the... What's an IR blaster? I don't know what it is, but what it has reminded me of is apparently you can get these little... Um, it's the size of a keyring. 
you can get remotes, like, it's like a teeny tiny universal TV remote, but it's with the express purpose of just turning off a television. And the person who made it said that they made it for the ex- for, for the- for the purpose specifically of turning off televisions in waiting rooms that are really, really loud. And they just sell them. It's just a tiny universal remote to turn off almost any television in the world. Which I, I think is quite funny and, you know, probably useful at some stage, you know? Oh, Iron Blast is the laser light on your remote. Oh, so that... Oh. Hmm. Similar idea, then. A lot of phones have adapters from them, but Xiaomi has it built in. What's the purpose? Like, why is it on a Xiaomi phone? Sorry if this is something really obvious, but I actually don't know what you'd need one on a phone for. And that's not something I knew, but it makes a lot of sense and making... Ingenuity. Ingenuity. I remember someone out there making an iron blaster you could plug into your phone's 3.5mm jack. Oh, goodness. Oh, I'm after breaking this poor thing. What? Gotcha. Uh, uh. That's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You can just use it as your own remote then. I had a phone with Iron Blast and you just use it as a remote. That's so cool. Joshua the Fox, how are you doing? That's honestly very, very handy. I don't know if I'd ever... I, I say, oh, I'd never need it, but I mean, you could lose a remote anytime. Um, Alex Fabio says, I had a smartwatch years ago with an IR Blaster. It had a universal TV remote app. That is actually pretty cool, to be honest. It's handy. As for why you went an IR Blaster on your phone, turning off TVs and waiting rooms. Yeah, you know, I, we've come full circle on this one. I kind of answered my own question. I would love to turn off loud televisions and waiting rooms. Like, don't get me wrong, sitting in silence is a bit miserable, but sitting, trying to be in silence while, like, Fair City is playing is kind of worse. Like, imagine you're waiting for your doctor's appointment and all you can hear is Fair City. Or EastEnders or something like that. And you're trying to relax. And you're hearing two people have an argument and tell you, you're just like, please no, please don't do this to me, please no, please, please no. Anything but this. Anything but this. Fair City better than Coronation Street. I, you see, I just don't like soaps in general, and I don't, I don't judge you. Does anyone here watch soap operas? Hands up if you watch soap operas. They're just not my thing. Like, I understand the appeal. They're just not for me, you know. I think I just, I think I just like watching things that are a little more detached from reality, if that makes sense. Which I don't know. It, it that's a neutral thing. It's neither good nor bad, you know. I used to, when I was younger with my mom, I actually used to watch, oh my god, it's finished now. Um, when I was in sixth class, I used to watch Neighbours. And I didn't actually even really enjoy it, but I was watching it because everybody else watched it. And I had literally nothing to talk about with people in my class. Like, nothing at all. Everyone, every single person would be watching Neighbours. So I started watching Neighbours, and I had no idea what was going on. But I was trying so desperately to make conversation with people. I was like, I'm gonna watch this thing I don't like so I can talk about the characters. And then I I got bored and stopped. But look, that, that's the way of it. That's the way of it. Kuro, hello, how are you doing? Um, Kingfisher Games says, I watch pro wrestling. So yes, I watch so far. So yep, same thing. Although to be fair, at least, you know, high production value. Great entertainment all the same. I hope Neighbours is a show in your- No, I wasn't, like, watching my Neighbours. It's a Australian soap that used to be on telly. Back in the day. Not even that far back in the day. I think it was only the last couple of years it was- it was ended, if I remember right. I'm pretty sure Kylie Minogue got her big break. Was it on Neighbours? I feel like Kylie- was it Kylie Minogue? Or am I mixing her up with someone else? Back in my day! Shadow Dragon, how are you doing? Hello, hello, hello. Was it? Maybe. I don't remember. I heard- I learned a while back the Neighbours is sanitized in Europe and the Aussie version is apparently a wee bit more steamy. Ooh, Ooh. Oh, I- um, um, it's alright. I- has anyone else ever done that? Just like watch something so that you can hold a conversation because you feel odd. I feel like a lot of people did that with Game of Thrones. I actually never did, but we're not going to get into that because I know that's a very contentious ending. Um, but I remember watching Desperate Housewives because I was, every single person, again, in my class watched it when it was airing in Ireland. It used to be on RTE2 would air it. And I started watching it and I was like, okay, some of it's actually 
you know, it's all right. But I wasn't, like, it wasn't really my thing. And I felt so odd. But I was like, I need to have something in common with people. I need to talk to people about something they understand. Nobody here watches anime. I can't do that, you know? I watched the World Cup last week to be able to talk about it. I do not enjoy football. Oh. Oh. Um, yes, I don't know if it's sad or not. That's okay. Breaking Bad for me. I heard Breaking Bad is actually good, but like, you know, it's not it's not everyone's thing. You know, I haven't watched it myself. Head Pikachu says G Game of Thrones may be deeply uncomfortable, so I avoided it despite normally liking fantasy stuff. That was it, like, for me as well. It was just, it was a little too intense for me, but I've heard that it's pretty good. It's just not my thing, you know? Oh, Roddy says, basically, I arranged to take photos of someone's cosplay at a convention, so I watched the anime ahead of time to at least have a place to work from. I mean, that's dedication to the job as well. Fair play to you. Dedication to the cause. Okay. 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 Huh. Huh. Jam Place Games, hello, how are you doing? I'm Bird. Niello, how are you keeping? How are you all doing? That looks so much better already. Now, we still need to do the final stretch that branches off that way, but... That looks so much nicer. I'm going to make it another bit wider again because a lot of the nicest tunnels are quite wide. And we can hide these signs and everything later on, do you know? Do you know? Um, Chorus says, I'm good. Had a day off school today. I made a cake and tried to understand all the math things because we have a test tomorrow, but numbers don't like me and I don't like them either. That's all right. Kuro, I can assure you, you're not, you're not alone in that. You're definitely not alone in that. Oh, goodness. I hope you get on all right, though. I'm just going to do it. Am I going to do it this way? I'll just go. I'll keep going. Do you remember those shows in Cartoon Network that played at night repeat the same five episodes over and over? Oh. I'd like to say I do, but I don't know if I do. Were they cartoons or what were they? Because I remember there were some cartoons in Cartoon Network and they only aired at night. Um, like, Mike Lou and Og and Fat Dog Mendoza, which were both very, very strange shows. And probably Flying Rhino Junior High. I think that's actually where I saw it. I, I, brought, I brought this up on stream yesterday completely unprompted. <clears throat> But I'm pretty sure Flying Rhino Junior High was one of the cartoons they'd air at like like 3 in the morning or like 7, like probably 6 a.m. So that nobody actually ended up seeing them. Skatoonie was half cartoon. Half in real life, yes, Skatoonie with a K, I'm pretty sure, if I remember right. It was, it was kind of cool. The unhinged late night stuff was the best. I don't remember quite a lot of it. Do you remember the CBB... CBB... Uh, CBB... CBB... I almost had a CBBC show called Roy. I actually never really watched CBBC. Um, I would have watched The Den and I would have watched Cartoon Network and that was kind of it. Vice Ral, how are you doing? Come in, come in. Are you vibing today? Otterock says, I watched a lot of Simpsons, King of the Hill, Nick, Cartoon Network and 4Kids until I found out what anime is. Oh, that's it. Then you're away. You're away once you find out what anime is. I still have not seen all of King of the Hill. I started watching it like in order a couple of years ago and it, it's honestly great it's held up so well like it's such a funny like really really good show and i need to go back and finish watching it at some point courage the cowardly dog is an excellent cartoon I, it is strange it is odd i don't care it, that's part of the charm to be honest the adventures of sarah jane i've never heard of it i'm not familiar with that one at all at all unfortunately late night cartoon for stuff i'm um, 12 ounce mouse assy mcgee Perfect Hair Forever, Squidbilly's Home Movie. Home Movies is the only one I recognise, but I realise why that is. Cartoon Network in the UK, which is the one that aired in Ireland as well, aired different shows to the US. Like, the mainstays were mostly the same, but a lot of the, the smaller shows were completely different. Like, I remember, like, I remember a couple of years ago, I watched a, a compilation of... Cartoon Network cartoons that will make you so nostalgic and it was a list of 10 and I recognized like two of them And it was exactly the time period I would have been watching as well. I didn't I didn't know any of it I didn't know any of it. Sarah Jane's a Doctor Who spin-off. Oh, I didn't know I haven't watched Doctor Who in ages, but I'd actually never heard of it. I know Torchwood is a is a Doctor Who spin-off But it's like it's it's way more for adults because Doctor Who is kind of like not for kids kids necessarily But like it's for a younger audience or it's suitable for it anyway, and Torchwood is very intense um, Cow and Chicken was such a strange show. Such a strange show. Like, very good. Don't get me wrong. Very good show. But very strange. Very, very strange. Do you know what? I'm gonna see if I can... <clears throat> excuse me. I'm gonna see if I can drop off some stone to the warehouse. I don't know if there's really space for any cobblestone, though, mind you, but... Oh, there is! Right, I'm gonna fill this up. If anyone needs cobblestone, this is all here. It's all here. This is andesite. And that's diorite right this ground. 
Well, such, such a strange so show seems to be a phrase that's coming up a lot in talking about this time period. It's because it was a fairly strange time period. It was a bit of a, I would almost say a wild west of cartoons. It's not quite, that's not quite accurate, but there was a lot going on, you know? A lot of good stuff, though, mind you. I would still die on the hill that Ed and Eddie's one of the best cartoons ever. Like, it's just really, really funny. Very, very good. Yeah, that, that actually, that's a big part of it. A lot of cartoons were quite experimental. Like, if you look at the animation styles of that time, a lot of them were quite different. Not all of them. Like, there was a, there were some, you know, there were some common things, but a lot of the animation was very, 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 un not unusual, but it all stood out. Like, you could see a character with, you wouldn't know the name of the character, but you could see a character's style and immediately know what show you were watching, you know? Whereas... And there's a lot of very, very good cartoons around in the last maybe 10 years, don't get me wrong. Oh, oopsie. But the Cal Arts bean mouth style, if you know what I mean, took over quite a lot for a while. And a lot of cartoons started looking very, very similar in style. And sure, look, that's just it. I mean, things go in, in waves and then something new comes along, do you know? Didn't Cartoon Network in didn't get Cartoon Network in the basic cable package in Canada? Really? I'm pretty sure Cartoon Network was in a lot of basic packages in Ireland, so that's odd. I've never seen a single episode of Ed and Eddie. I don't know if maybe it's just like a nostalgia thing. Maybe no one else would enjoy it as much if they hadn't grown up with it, but I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Governor says there were blocks like Cartoon Cartoon Friday or What a Cartoon where they just throw stuff at the wall with random pictures and see what's stuck. Yes, that's where Courage came from and I'm fairly sure that's where Ed and Eddie came from as well. It was like you'd get experimental episodes of stuff and then they'd be like, okay, let's see what do the people think of this. Like you couldn't like vote obviously or anything, but they'd, you know, they'd figure out what they felt was a good match and then they'd commission episodes of it. K oh my goodness, Kubi. Codename Kids Next Door was such a great show so so good like I genuinely think it's one of the I felt like it was kind of underrated at the time as well like I, I feel like I'd talk about it at school and people wouldn't know what I was talking about like people were like oh I, I didn't see that or I wouldn't watch that or whatever and it was really good it was really 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 good I really liked it so good oh oopsie dun, 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 dun. The true Wild West of cartoons was when new grounds came along. Oh god, yeah, I mean, that's the floodgates opened, you know? Yeah, Killed Dink Kids Next Door was a really solid show, and I, f I feel like it didn't get a lot of attention, and I feel like it doesn't have the cult following it probably deserves. Can you give me one minute, lads? I need to refill my water bottle because I forgot to do that earlier, and I am without water. I am entirely without water, and that is no good. Oh no! There we go. You gotta hydrate. Shark, were you good? Of course you were, you're shark. Of course you were good. What kind of question is that? What kind of question is that? What did you talk about? Did you have a good chat? Oh, excuse me. Um, Nukes girl, hello. I have a small fun fact. I once tried to be a niche Minecraft streamer, but ended up playing through Tacoma instead because there's American Sign Language in it instead. Oh, that's really cool. What is? I've not heard of Tacoma. I don't think. That is very cool, though. Very very cool. I hope you're having a good one. Love that dress. Are those paintings on the bottom? They are. They're like little framed pictures. Very cute. Um, it's a dress called Alice's Portrait from a brand called Baby the Stars Shine Bright. I've had it for years. It was made in two thousand and. 10 I think and I got it the next year as a birthday gift and it's it's great it's one of my favorites 
I've had this, oh my god, I've had this dress for, ten, for 12 years. Ish. About that, yeah, 12 years. Nice. And Tacoma's Fab was 10 out of 10 for me. Nukes Girl says it was a fun walk around exploration game like Edith Finch in space. I actually have access to Edith, Edith Finch and I've heard it's really good. I don't have the foggiest idea of what it's about, but I'd like to give it a go sometime. Rowan, hello on this Monday, Wednesday. Two Minecraft streams in a week. I was just feeling it, you know? Sometimes you just have the bug. It just bites you. And I was like, you know what? If I play another game this evening, all I'll be able to think about the whole way through is how much I'd like to be playing Minecraft right now. So I was like, you know what? We'll just play Minecraft. We'll have a chat and a mess and a carry on. We'll do it. And very weird. Hello and a happy Wednesday to your good self. How are you doing? Come in, come in. Hell yeah, I say. Hell yeah. I will have to brainstorm some ideas for actually decorating this tunnel, but we'll get to it, you know? We'll get to it. We'll get to it. Sometimes you just got a diggy diggy hole. Exactly. It's very satisfying. Play Edith Finch Blind will be so much better for the twists and turns. I will. I won't look up a thing about it. I won't look up a thing about it. Is it... Do you reckon it's like stream suitable? Because I've had a couple of people bring it up before. Not in a while now, but I've heard... I've had people mention it in the past. Do you think it's stream safe, stream suitable? Hmm. <laughs> Heck the rules. Heck the rules. Oh, come here to me. Oh. It should be. Uh, good to know. We, I mean, we could play it on stream sometime if you're interested. Perhaps. I could put it on the list. The ever-growing list of games I need to play. Actually, you asked me earlier on, but what games is everyone else looking forward to? Any games that are coming out in the next while that you're excited and delighted for? Because I'm going to be honest, and I'm going to make it very clear that I'm not being paid to say this or sponsored to say this. I'm really looking forward to the full release of Critter Cove. I'm really, really excited to see what they do with that. Like, it just looks so sweet and so charming and I'm so looking forward to it. King Josh, hello, so I got it caught before stream was over. I'm not having a good afternoon. Just caught horrible news. Lads, can we get some goodness for King Josh? Whatever's going on, I hope you are going to be a-okay. And we're going to do our best to keep you distracted, keep you entertained. We're going to keep you going. We're going to chat about nice things. Oh my God, I forgot there's a Bluey video game coming out. I'm going to be going feral over Princess Peach Oh, time me and you, Jess. Me and you, Jess, we are going to be going mad about it. And anyone else who wants to join the going mad about it party. Oh, goodness. There's some copyrighted bin that just turned off music in your bathtub. Good to know. Good to know. Paleo Pines. Paleo Pines. Polychicken says, I haven't been keeping up with any games lately. I've been spoiled by Vault Hunter since it's a long-term game, but keeps things fresh and gets regular updates. Not everyone's thing, though. I mean, that could be nice, though. It'd be nice to have something familiar that feels like it's still fresh after a long time, you know? Um, Amber, she says, going to probably pick up Mario Wonder when that drops. Oh, yeah. That's, I keep forgetting how soon that is. That's next month. Like, that's like the 8th of October. Or the 8th, It's the 8th or the 18th. And it's probably neither, actually, now that I stop and think about it. I choose the kingdom, Final Fantasy 14 and Final Fantasy 9. I'm happy at the minute. I still haven't finished Choose the Kingdom, but I, I will soon. I will soon. I'm so excited. I will absolutely feral with the Sumeria RPG and... Oh yeah, the Thousand Year Door remake. And listen, it looks... And I say this now, admittedly, as someone who hasn't played the original Thousand Year Door on GameCube. I think it looks really nice. I think it looks really, really nice. <laughs> I'm so excited for the Peach Game. It's going to be my Joker movie. It looks... It just looks so cool. Like, she looks so cool. Princess Peach is so cool. I'm so glad she's getting her own game. After... God, was the only other game where she was the main character um, Super Princess Peach for the DS? Which I do have, and it's a cute little game, but I always felt like she deserved more, considering like she's such a main character. You know, I think she's neat. I know this is official Factorio expansion in progress. No idea when that'll be, though. I've never played Factorio. I watched people play it, though. It looks fun. Do, 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 do. Backcross Dragon, hello. How are you doing? Are you well? Are you well? I loved um, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. I played it a ton at my grandma's house growing up, surrounded by literal walls of creepy porcelain dolls. Oh, your granny was a porcelain doll collector. That's quite sweet, though. Uh, it was just... Oh, wait. No, it was the same room I slept in. That's a bit... That could be a bit scary. Oh, Jess is super random, but I got this chocolate bar I've never seen before called Tony's Chocolate Lonely, and I can't for the life of me decide if I like it or not. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. I love... Oh, Tony's is so nice. I don't get Tony's Chocolonely often because it's a little pricier, but it's so tasty. 
It's so, 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 so tasty. I had it for the first time back in 2016. I saw it in the Netherlands, and I hadn't seen it in Ireland yet. I don't think it was for sale here, but Tony's is... Oh, it's really good. Really, really, really good. Really good. Creepy doll moves have zero effect on me. I've been inoculated. You are... You are safe. You are safe from the creepy dolls. Do, 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 do. Capulation, hello, I love toys. It's so, so, so nice. I might I might pick myself up a bar of it at some point soon. It's been a long time since I got it. Because the bars, the bars are quite big. I'm not being funny, but the bars are like pfft, this size. But I did have, I don't know if it was a gift or what, but I had a bag about yay big with a selection of a little different flavor Tonys. Like there was white chocolate, dark chocolate. Um, there might have been... There was milk chocolate, definitely. I think there was one with hazelnut. It was good. It was good. It was really nice. Helen says, I recently discovered a new mod for Fallout 4 called Sim Settlement 2, and I feel like I discovered a whole new game. So that's taken over my free time. Oh, I love when you find a mod like that that just breathes so much new life into a game you enjoy. It's great. Awela, hello. We're vibing. How are you doing yourself? Come in, come in. We're just chatting and messing. And, you know, you know the usual. You know the usual. Um, I'm wanting to redecorate this tunnel and I, I'm essentially just talking and digging out the sides of it you know and if I'm not done by the time we're finished stream I'll probably just keep playing off stream you know I still want to try a Terry's chocolate orange but I can't find one anywhere I live oh Terry's chocolate oranges are so good oh Terry's are so so nice so good I haven't had one in a while myself actually I tend to try to keep them special like I'll have them only at Christmas but they're so good so good so 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 good Online Stone says totally is chocolate only. I've only seen it in gift shops and never had it myself. Highly recommend. It's so, so nice. Looking forward to when the major update for Stardew Valley Expanded drops. Oh, yeah. Uh, speaking of Stardew as well, um, didn't your man, Concerned Ape, um, I don't remember his name. I can never remember his actual real life name. He said he was working on another expansion for Stardew, like a, a, an actual real one. Because he was like, that's it, Ginger Island, that's the last thing. And he was like, actually. <laughs> Actually, 1.6 in progress. Ah! I would love to. Eric Barone. I can never remember his his name. I don't know why. That's exactly it. Time is a social contract contract construct, and I will make Christmas pastries whenever I want to, as you should. And you have to get your practice in ahead of Christmas. I mean, you know, why not? Why not? Why not? He's nerfing the mushroom cave. Ah, that's okay. That's fine. That's fine. I can live with that. I'm sure lots of other people would not be able to live with that, but I can live with that. The Stardew Valley 1.5 drop was a great day. Oh, it really was. God, when was that? That was... Was that 2021? Because I think I started the on-stream playthrough of Stardew not long after the 1.5 drop. And I was humming and hawing about it. And I got so sucked into that for so long. So, so long. What a great game. I think... I, I don't expect we'll get that update for a while, but I think when the 1.6 drops, we might do a little playthrough on stream again. That'd be fun. Because I did enjoy the last one we did. I just burnt myself out a little bit too intensely. Oops. Um, Otter Rock says, I learned recently that in, I think, literally everywhere other than America, the Milky Way is called a Mars bar, and the Three, Mus Three Musketeers is a Milky Way bar. Yeah, a Milky Way here is like soft and fluffy almost in the inside it's a what's it nougat nuga nuga i don't know what's called i don't know how to pronounce it it's nice anyway and the mars bar is it's got a similar kind of filling but it's got caramel and stuff with it it's very good kaya cat how are you doing dark house things are you well good news from lisa clover and carol pre-ordered my copy of the tunic instructional booklet Oh, my pre-ordered copy of the Tunic Instructional book just arrived, and I'm having Category 10 autism moment, lads. It's so nice. Yes! I finished gushing over all the pages, and now I'm clutching into my chest. I'm giggling. I'm so happy. I'm so happy for you. Oh, my God. I'm so, so happy for you. That is... That's the business, lads. That's the business. That is the business. I've been role-playing as Gandalf in Stardew Valley. That is... As you should. As you should. Smart Bray, hello. We are. I hope we're good. And I hope you're good. How are you doing yourself? Come in, come in, come in. Ow, sorry, my ears just started hurting out of nowhere. Ow. Don't, don't be doing that. Ow. Oh, I see what happened. My earring was kind of stabbing into the back of my head. Moja now as well. Hang on, hang on. You were the last person I need to get a hold of. Moja, I don't know if you're aware. But you won one of the Critter Cove codes yesterday, and I couldn't whisper you on Twitch, so um, 
E, will you send me a whisper so that I can respond to you and send you your code that you won? Congratulations again, Mojo Nazwa. You're the very last person, and then everyone has their codes. And if there's anyone who doesn't have their codes, you can hunt me down. You can hunt me down. Okay, I'm just gonna do this, and then we hop back into the game. It was so nice of them to give the codes as well. Like, I didn't even ask, they just did it without asking. I was I was very impressed. Very sweet of them. Very sweet of them. There, 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 there. Yellow. Here's your key. Congrats again. There we go. Now, okay, that's it. Everyone has their keys. I'm so glad. Also, the, the wheel is still spinning. Wheel's still going. Still going. That's still going. Dr. Sicko, hello, and thank you for 29 months. How are you doing? Come in, come in, come in. And Owls Mellow and Fionn, how are we keeping everybody in today? How are we getting on? Oh, it's digging for miles. Ashgar, hello, Minecraft 2 electric tunneling. It is electric tunneling. I just, I just love... I just love digging and making tunnels nice and making them functional and maybe in another life I would have, I don't know, been a train conductor. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Fiance is very good. Love my first week of uni. Yes! Oh, I'm delighted for you. What, what are you studying? You don't, don't like dock yourself or anything, but I'm just nosy. Just nosy. Is the song playing from Sonic 3D Blast? It's not. It's from one of the... It's from a Pokemon game, but I don't remember which one. I think it's from... It's from X and Y. It's a Pokemon theme, so it has to be in the games that had the separate Pokemon. Or is it from like a remake? Social sciences. It's pish. Three lectures at most today. That's not bad. That is not bad at all. That's manageable. Good and manageable. Do you want to know something that was quite cruel about when I was in college? I mean, like, it was fine. It was fine. But, um, so the way our, our course was done and the way a lot of courses are done was you'd have a mo you'd have like one constant module through the whole year or maybe a few different modules that were constant through the whole year and then you'd have something that you do from the start of the year to christmas and then something you do from january to the end of the year but we didn't have exams until the end of the year so if you had a module that you did an exam on from like say september to december you had already forgotten everything because there were no christmas exams so you had to go back like over six months to try and study things and it was tough bloody pinata thank you so much for 23 months and enjoy your lurk and i hope you enjoy your dinner i hope you enjoy your dinner have a good one it was pretty rough i i think they actually changed it after i left which i'm so glad of you know it's a lot of pressure it's a lot of pressure do, 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 do. what's this tunnel do this kaya cat this is the tunnel out to cozy cove i'm expanding it on the sides and i want to make it actually look nice because it just looked a bit I just thought it deserved to look nicer. Um, I'm if anyone on the server wants to contribute an idea for a design, I want to make it a little wider because otherwise it feels like you're it feels like someone stuffed you into a little like tiny little box and shoved you down a hole in the ground. And I think for Cozy Cove, it deserves something nicer, you know. That's what I think. Anyway, I don't know about the rest of you. I don't know. I don't know. Some of my subjects is just continuous assessment, but they're changing it to exams. Oh, that's. That's kind of cruel. A continuous assessment. Like, I know it can be bad if you have an off day, but it's long-term a little less stress, you know? If you make it four blocks wider, might have decided. I think four blocks wider might be a bit excessive, to be honest, because this is, you know, this is a lot of digging out, and it isn't... It's not a tunnel that gets you... Sorry, I don't know why. I just can't talk today. It's not a tunnel that gets a whole lot of use. Um, I think the width I'm bringing it to is probably A-OK. -okay. I just want it to feel less pokey, you know? Uh, Mojo says, I came to the stream with the expectation to be hunted down. It was fulfilled. You got hunted down. For anyone I gave the codes to as well, just be be warned. The game won't be accessible until tomorrow, but that's when your codes will start working. Ding! Um, you might be able to download ahead of time. I'm not 100% sure on that, but it should work 100% tomorrow. Ding! Ding! Why don't you have simulation portals to simulate entering a new world? What do you mean? What's this, what do you mean by a simulation portal? Um, Alden Sona says, coursework was soul draining when I was at school, but at least I could gradually work on it over four or five months instead of having one, yeah, one hour long attempt to get a good grade, grade in exams. Like, it's scary. Human, hello, welcome in. How's things? Come in, come in, come in, come in. I hope you're vibing. Absolutely vibing. 
Oh, I forgot to tell you about the... I forgot to tell you about the dinner I made last night. I, start, I was going on and on and on, going like, I bought the chicken, I'm gonna cook it. So what I did was... Uh, listen, listen. Uh, calm your stomachs before I tell you this. I got the chicken, right? And I cooked it. Now, I know, amazing. No, listen. I had a cast iron pot. A gorgeous cast iron pot that my mom gave me years ago. So on the bottom of the pot, I put a load of baby potatoes, um, big, like, chunks of onion, and I put chicken that I've completely rubbed in butter. Not, I mean, like, not, not, like, dunked, but, like, rubbed over the top with butter so the skin gets real nice. Bit of salt and pepper, rosemary, slices of lemon, onion inside, just it gets, it gets a nice little mild flavour as it goes. And I let that go for about an hour. It was only a small chicken, so, like, an hour and 15, hour and 20, and it was... It was, it was really good. And steamed broccoli and some carrots. Not complicated not complicated food at all fairly simple food but like oh the payoff is unbelievable the payoff is unbelievable so good like not a real nether portal but a ring of that place's color around the tunnel's entrance to the portal that's actually that's a really sweet idea what we have at the minute is we have banners from different bills but that would actually be really cool like to put a little little more decoration that would be really nice Annie sees how are you doing thank you for 27 months come in how's things are you absolutely vibing I hope we're having a fine Wednesday Kai Katz has been busy with work aside for the weekend so I can just no no thoughts my Minstraft sometimes you need to turn off all of the thoughts in your brain and just play Minecraft it's great you know when you're stressed about something and you're just like feck it I'm just gonna play Minecraft or your, your game of choice for I don't know like six hours and you know you have nothing in particular you need to do you can just lose yourself in it for a while it's such a great feeling it's very very nice very chill do you know something I'm really looking forward to when we move is um, everything but particularly just sitting on the couch to play video games a bit more often in my free time because McDara has his office in the front room it's the only place he can have it it's not like spiteful or anything like he, he can't have his stuff anywhere else there's no space but because of that, I don't tend to go in there to play games on the big telly because I'm like, well, I don't want to be sitting in the background going ding, 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 if he's like trying to work or having a meeting or whatever, because even through headphones, you hear stuff. So when we move, I'm probably going to just start playing way more games in my off time, which is excellent. Excellent. I'm so looking forward to it. I'm so looking forward to it. Barrett says a properly done roast chicken is an experience. It's, just, it's a simple thing. I didn't end up you making the, what was it, the Yorkshire puds I said I was going to say make because we actually had we had so much food between us it was actually plenty and i was also so hungry i didn't have the patience to make extra puddings Cha. real sunny games hello how are you doing annie c says um weird times and you came and eating sandwich you're gonna play crosswords no brain for me you know what brain switch it off switch it off if it's causing trouble switch it off for a few hours come back to it later um where do i suggest games you play over in discord and um, there should be a channel you can see called suggestion box please feel free if anyone by the way if anyone has suggestions for games or for recipes for fridays as well throw them in there i can't always guarantee i'll make them sometimes i don't have the ability or i don't have the confidence or I don't have the resources but i like to give it a go you know and nukes girl says i share an office space with my husband and i feel fear the day someone hears the vtubers he listens to over the phone when i'm talking to them that'd be pretty funny that would be pretty pretty funny speaking of moving how many days are left in your house timer i'm gonna give you now can we get a drum roll please Wait, where's my drum roll? I definitely have a drum roll. Oh, I do. My phone's dead. I let my phone die again. But it's 21 days. <laughs> my phone's dead. Woo, congratulations. 21 days. Three weeks today. Three weeks on this day today. And I'm I I'm glad I'm I'm gonna jump out of my skin. Like I'm so I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to paint walls and decorate. Paint walls, decorate, hang up pictures. It's gonna be great. I won't know myself. I'll have a garden. I can plant flowers. And sit outside. You know what? You know something I really, really just wish I could do, and I I will be able to once we move. You know when you wake up really early in the morning and it's you either don't have anything to do or it's too early to do anything and you're like, right, you make a cup of tea or coffee, whatever you prefer yourself, and you just go outside. If it's not raining, you just go outside. You just get a bit of air into your brain and, well, not literally, I hope. 
you just get like a bit of air in the lungs. You get a bit of fresh air and you, you just kind of feel like you come to life. I haven't been able to do that in years. Years! And it's so nice to just like take a hot cup of tea, go outside. Even if it's a little chilly, you're just like, yes. Red Lobster Lad, how are you doing? Come on in. How's things? How's things? DDT says, Dave moving with you. Yes, I was actually saying this earlier. I'm going to bring him in my handbag because I think it's probably the safest place for him. He's going to be with us in the car. We're not packing him into a box because that box will be burned to a crisp when we get him. Can we watch the paint dry? Maybe. Maybe. I mean, I'll probably want to paint my stream room a color. I don't know what color is the only thing. It'll have to be something that looks nice on camera. Jenna. Jenna. Just make sure it's nice and pretty. I'm sure most colors would be fine on camera. Like, I could just test it. A pink painted, painted green screen green. That would be quite funny. That'd be pretty good. Oh, Red Lobster lads on as well. You're all in the same brain cell today, lads. There must have been a special offer. I will... All right. Serious thing. Hands up. If I was to do a stream of me painting the new stream room, would you would you show up? I know what the answer is going to be, but I just want to... Just polling you for a minute, lads. It's very important. Yes, yes, absolutely, yes, hands up, hands up, yes, excellent. I mean, I say that, and I'm like, I remember how many of you showed up to me making the IKEA bookcase that's behind me, so I don't know why I'd be surprised by that in the slightest. You know, and I wa I'd like to try and paint it before I start filling it with stuff. Just filling it with stuff and things and bits and bobs, you know? 24 hour stream, what? <laughs> Watch it dry too. I just let the stream go overnight, that's it. I'm sure nothing bad could happen. Will you lock yourself out again, like on the Ikea shelf stream? That was one time. I only locked myself out a little bit. I did get back in. I just thought I was going to break both my legs in the, <laughs> in the middle of it. My mate is from Mallow. Is that the place to be? Mallow down in Cork, is it? I, I mean, I've actually never been to Mallow. I don't have no idea what it's like. I hear it's very marshy this time of year. Uh, no, seriously, I haven't been to Mallow before. Have Dave babysitters during the paint drying stream? See, you'd either behave yourselves or you'd try to provoke him. Is there anyone here who doesn't know who Dave is? I feel like he hasn't been ta taking center stage recently. He's been sitting back. I feel like he's up to something, lads. I feel like he's up to something. Dave is up to something. I just have a weird feeling in the middle of my brain, you know? You haven't met Dave yet. <gasps> You have to meet Dave. Dave, don't, don't, don't peck them. We talked about this. We talked about this, Dave. Don't peck them. Dave, no, 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 bold. <laughs> Nothing strange happened, everything's fine. Head Pikachu, thank you very much for gifting five subs to Mulk, Uranium Lettuce, Blastic, Patty Megs, and Mini Squatch. Thank you so much. What did I do with you? Can we get a wave of uns, 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 uns? Thank you so much, Head Pikachu. That's very kind of you. I didn't actually mention it earlier, but we do have a sub goal for the first time in ages um, to try and unlock another emote slot. Um, no pressure. If we get it, we get it. If we don't, we still had a lovely time. So very cute with pancake on your head. I actually completely forgot she was up there. <laughs> I keep forgetting she's on top of my head. She is cute up there. I should put her up there more often. Fun fact, every time Dave does that, a new clone of cake is swapped into the stream. It's true. There's very subtle differences. Very subtle. That's very kind of you to come head beat you. Glad you enjoy Dave's presence. I heard something. The sub goal reset at the end of the month. Um, at the end of the month, I probably won't do another goal for a while. 
because I still have old sub goals to catch up on. I still need to do the keyboard build stream, which is something I actually want to do. I just haven't, I just haven't, I just keep forgetting about it, I'm gonna be honest. But I do want to build a new keyboard, so we'll probably do it when we're moved at this stage. And it'll be nice. I want a slightly bigger keyboard because, listen, I didn't think I'd miss having the F keys. That was silly, and I was wrong. I miss having F keys. I do like this keyboard, and I'm not going to, like, get rid of it. I'll probably, like, swap it in and out every so often. But I'd like to get a keyboard base and get switches and put it all together and, you know, get the switches nice and smooth sounding. I don't like a super loud, clacky keyboard. I like kind of a... What's the word I'm looking for? Quiet keyboard. Quiet. F in chat for F cakes, F keys. Yeah, there's... It's like, what do you swear to me? There's no F in keys on that. Ha 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 ha. There's no F keys. No F keys. Tactile. That's exactly what I was trying to think of. Thank you, Pasta Basta. Um, tactile. I don't like super like sounding ones. I know some people really like them and they teach their own, but if my neighbors can't hear my furious typing, then what's the point? What's the point? Yeah, no 10 key either. Now, I do like it. I do like it, but I do find myself looking for keys more often lately. I find myself missing stuff on it, so you know. I forgot the F number keys were a thing, so I thought you meant the letter F just wasn't there. I mean, if you give me a second, hang on. I mean, now it's not. No F keys. None. Like, literally not a single one. Not even one. And, you know, it's, it's to be expected. You know, it could happen to anyone. Um, the key, the switches I have at the minute are Cherry MX Browns. And they're actually quite nice. I do like them quite a lot. They're, they're nice. They've got a nice sound to them. They have a nice feel to them. Um, they don't hurt my hands if I'm typing a fair bit of stuff. You know, it's, It gives enough little like feedback. That's nice. Does the ice cream key deliver ice cream? God, I wish. <gasps> Bunny Mumbles, you just reminded me. I have ice cream in the small freezer. I have an ice burger in the freezer. Burger. It's like a an ice cream sandwich. I could have it later. No one can stop me. No, not a frozen burger. No, no, no. It's like an ice cream sandwich. It's like a biscuity stuff with vanilla ice cream in the middle. They're so good, so 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 good. I can't function with a keyboard without F keys or numpad. I don't really miss the numpad so much because I wouldn't have used the numpad very often anyway. But I might get one with a numpad. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, if I have the numpad, that's just more real estate for more nice keycaps. You know? I'm just saying. You can have it now, nobody's stopping you, except for the fact that I'm using both my hands to play this game at the minute. Otherwise, I'd probably be eating it already, I'm gonna be honest. Is this song from Pokemon? Alicia and Emily, hello, lovely to see you. Um, I think, uh, yes, all the music we're listening to is from Pokemon at the minute. Nice little mix. It's an Ezonator mix. The only thing I knew, use my numpad for is sound effect bindings. Hey, listen, that's a good, that's a good, good use of it, I have to say. It's a good use of it. Where are my 65 percenters at? Bam, 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 bam. I can never remember if mine is 60% or 65%. I think it's 60%. I don't know what else you could shave off this keyboard, to be honest, without making it a bit useless. And this Emily says, I am an accountant, so I love having a number pad. Oh, I'd say, like, if you have anything you're doing like that, if you're putting in numbers fairly regularly, then you'd need them. You'd need them. Otherwise, you're, you're there, like, tick, tick, tick playing like you have like the main match of Wimbledon going on on your keyboard going beep ba beep ba beep like ping pong going on as well I absolutely use the F keys you do you do you pro if you have them you probably use them okay that's pretty good that's a fair a fair chunk of fair chunk of tunnel now we need to decide what we're doing with it I'm gonna put all of this into the warehouse 
Stop eating glue. Hello, I've my arrow keys mapped to the numpad on my laptop since the down button broke. Oh, rest in peace, down button. But nice to have the backup, all the same. Very, very nice to have the backup. My laptop actually has a, a numpad. Both my laptops, the, the, the last two I had had numpads. I don't remember if the one I had before that had a numpad. It's been so, so long since I've used it. Like, I... 2017 would have been the last time I used it, I think. Going back a while, you know, going back a while. Where am I going? Here, 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 here. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh. Do, 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 do. We can put some dirt over here. Uh, oh, I should probably sort this out at some point. Just make sure it's all in there for now and that'll do. Actually, I'm going to get some rails just so we can... Actually, we have to take up the rails anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. Um, what do I need? I need... I have these bricks. I'm going to get some... I think it's spruce wood that's being used. Might be. Hang on, I'll go back and check. I want to match it a little bit to the... The color scheme of Cozy Cove itself. And I think it's spruce and blackstone. Type to freeze. Hello. I'm back over 21 months. I'm 21. I can buy spicy beverage in the USA. Yeah, they're going to give you a... They're going to give you a Sprite with a bit of Sriracha in it. I'm sorry to break it to you. That's all, you're, that's all they're going to give you. They're very... Very bold. Very bold. <laughs> I typed your freeze. Thank you so much. How are you keeping? Um, Head she says, I literally work at a bank and also tend to type numbers and pins using that pad. And of course, I also use the F keys for gaming, especially when playing Final Fantasy XIV to switch between party members when healing their dumb injured faces. And I mean, like, you kind of do need that sometimes. Like, you, you do. You, you, you kind of... Actually, wait. Is this the right kind of brick? That's... Wrong brick. This is a deep slate brick. Okay, deep slate brick. Um... Deep slate brick with spruce. I think, is this spruce? Hang on. I don't want to cut into it. Okay, yeah, that's spruce logs. And I'm thinking like a nice accent color. So I'll get spruce. You know what, I'll go back to the warehouse. Because I think there's some bricks in here we can take. Deep slate bricks. Deep slate. Dooklin. Oh, I like that. Dooklin. All right, let's see if we can... I actually don't know if we can make it out of that or if we need cobbled stuff. I'll, I'll bring both and we'll find out. We'll, we'll bring both. Body Mumbles, yes, we're in Irish Minecraft because someone thought it was Irish, but it was actually lolcat, so I just put it in Irish. Boppachu, hello. Yes, Minecraft again. Because why have Minecraft once when you can have Minecraft twice in a week? I just didn't know what else to do with myself. Okay, let's see. How do we make uh, bri uh, hang on. Oh, Vricky. That's how it would be. Is that it? Oh, wait. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. I know what I'm doing wrong. Uh, bri bri no. Hang on. Bricky. That's what it is. I'm putting the fodder in. A fatherless experience. Fatherless behavior. I hate that I even came up with that myself. Okay, so what do we need? We need... Oh, we need polished deep slate. Okay, so I think for polished deep slate, we do need then... Dee -dee 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 -dee. Yeah, we need the cobbled stuff. Just put in a load of that. Yeah, okay, that is right. Excellent, and we can get some spruce. I'm going to probably have to... Actually, I don't know why I did that. I'll just go back to spawn. I think I have some spruce in my house. I think. I hope. I hope. I'm gonna <laughs> spruce things up. Hey! It would have been better if I'd crashed there, to be honest. Man's walking around in his shoes. What's he up to? Having Minecraft in Irish is a great learning tool for the kids in Irish learning school. In learning Irish in school, it's great. Like, it's so, so good when you think about it, and it makes sense. The kids yearn for the mines. Give them Minecraft and Irish. Please don't judge the state of all of this. Well, I mean, I'm going to use this. I might as well wait for it to come through. <laughs> Watch me swoose spruce right in. I still don't know why that's so funny, but it is. It, it just is. I don't make the rules. It is. Oh, Amber, she know I just knocked a tray full of toxic resin dust shavings off my desk, so I have to... 
I have thorough cleaning of my room to do tomorrow morning. Oh, that hurts. That's that's rough. Oh, here it is. Yes, there is spruce. Excellent. Just go in there. I'm just gonna let this all come in and we can try to plan this out somehow. Just throw out the whole room at that stage. Be done with it. Just be done with it. I'm trying to think what a nice accent color would be. Okay, that'll do. I'm just gonna take the one stack. Hmm. What? New. Where are the blocks coming from? Oh, that's my post box. It's terribly backed up because I'm a fool and I always forget to empty out my post box. I'm going to look at some other tunnels for a bit of inspiration because other people are very good at putting together. Oh, like, look at this tunnel. That's so cool. This is so cool. Look at this tunnel. That's sick. What? Oh, it's raining big time outside. Nice. Why Why did you have a tub full of toxic resin shavings? I'm assuming you were doing something with resin, but... Oh, cleaning Forge World model parts. That'll do it. Filing, sanding. You gotta get it all good and smooth. Just good and smooth. Alright, let's get down here and plan out what we're doing. We'll probably have to dig out this part. Actually, do you know what? I'll do this now, because otherwise I'll forget. Full body workout, lads. If only I was doing it in real life. 1910 kids, work in the mines. 1940 kids, no longer work in the mines. 2010 kids, back to the mines. Okay. Okay, so. Brainstorm. Color palette. We need... We don't need... We don't have to do it this way. I'm trying to think... Oh, blue could be good with this. Hmm. My only worry is that it might be a bit dark. Hmm. Let me go into the warehouse and see what bricks we have that I could take. Emerald would be a bit expensive. We have loads of... We have a lot of lapis. Moss would be nice as well. I'm going to take just a few bits of lapis to have a look. Um, I don't know if we have a... I don't know if we have somewhere to put moss. Actually, it might be back here. Don't you have your government-mandated tube of toxins on your desk? Uh, no, I, I threw it out by accident last week. I know, there's uproar. I'll never... I'll never get past it. Yeah, let's try both of these and see how the colors are. Because the blue is a little bit dark is the only thing. So the... Oh, the moss is nice. The moss is really nice and bright. I do want to use up this lapis. Though. We have more lapis that we can use on the server. We just sow so much of the stuff. Alright. This is good so far. It gives the impression that you're on the way to Cozy Cove as well. Which is... We like that. For lighting. I'm going to get rid of the lanterns. I reckon something like a... What you call... A frog light could be nice. Hmm. Why can't I imagine how that block of lapis would taste? Do you think it would taste like blue raspberry? Because that's that's the correct answer. That is the correct answer. Okay. Do we... I like this so far. I think. I'm not sure where the- oh, hang on. I think there's- there's free frog lights in town. Let me just- I think there are some. I think Aesthetic has frog lights in here. I might have- oh, wait, wait, over here? Frog lights, I think. Free frog lights. Okay, I'm gonna try a little frog light in. Let's see. With moss, you can bone meal the floor so you don't rip up any rails. Will that work? Oh, I don't know if that'll work with stone, though, will it? I think it only works with dirt. Does it work with stone? Because if it does, that'd be excellent. Frog lights still need to be placed in the South Express Tunnel. I'll have to get on that soon. Now, I'm thinking... Does it work with stone? No way! Oh my goodness, that's so cool. That'd be excellent. Okay, let me think. Do we want to go with green frog lights? Do you know what? I'll just take one of each. I'll take... Actually, no, I'll just take the full stack. Otherwise, that's messing up the inventory. 
And I'll just bring back what we don't use. Oh! Ooh! Sick. Okay. Okay. Rock and stone works with moss. That's so cool. I have no idea. That's so, so nice. I'm feeling the green is probably the go as well, but I just I thought I'd bring along one of each. I don't know why I didn't just teleport back, but I just like seeing the scenery, you know? I've always wondered why the standard artificial flavor for blue is blue raspberry instead of blueberry. Me too, and I, I've i never gotten an answer, but blue raspberry's really nice. <gasps> Kyle, hello, I just got through the fastest standard TSA line I've ever experienced in my life. They have fancy new machines so you know to remove electronics and liquids. I think they're trialing those in Dublin Airport, and I'm so excited about it. Like, so, so excited. So cool. So, so cool. Aha. Okay. Frog light number one. I'll actually turn off the shaders so you can see this. Frog light number two, frog light number three. Okay, I don't think it's this. It's nice, but it's not the one. They're all so pretty. I think the green is probably going to be the one. The yellow brings a nice little, like... The yellow's a nice accent. Hmm. Let's see. Hang on. Ooh, the accent of the yellow is really nice. The yellow is really nice and warm. I think I like the yellow. I think that could be the one. Could alternate between them. There's no law against it. And we do have a lot. I like the warmth of the yellow. I think it's pretty good. Okay, so. I think... I'm going to just make a crafting table and leave it down here so we can try out stuff on the fly. So if we make some... I did the right. Yes. Okay, so we could just. Kind of like this, right? Then moss along here. I only have one block of moss, so I'm just gonna take this one and put it down as an example. Moss here. And then inlaid here. We have. Ah? Huh? Ah! Wait, let me make a few more of these just for illustrative purposes. Ooh. Where are you? I'm, I'm in the station. Hang on. I'm in, I'm in the train station right by spawn. You can try. You can teleport to me if you'd like or if you want to try to wayfind. You're very, very welcome to. I think that's actually quite nice. I feel like it's similar to a tunnel someone else has probably made. Now, one thing I'm thinking before we start work on this. Do... Do we want to keep the rails side by side, or do we want to put a gap in the middle? It would be a lot of extra effort. I don't know if it's necessarily worth the extra effort. Oh, hello. Hello. Hmm. But I think this is cute. Let me see. There should be a bit of bone meal that I can rob somewhere. Hang on, I'm just gonna weep, whop, weep, whoop. Oh, maybe not here. Oh, in here. Uh, spruce, stone, stone type. Uh, no bone meal in here. Yeah, that's true. If I had the lights on the walls, we won't need the lanterns, so that'll be less to put it back in. <laughs> Hello. Oh, thank you, pumpkin pie. Hang on, am I able to pick this up? I hope so. Excellent. The question is, that is the question. Do I want the extra effort? I mean, it would make this part even as well. Because this part is terribly uneven up here. So if we were to say, bring it down here. It could be worth it. It could be worth it. Oh, thank you. Oh, I can't pick those up. I'm just going to sacrifice that. I think it'll be worth it. I, you know what? Any good build on this server has taken a lot of work and effort. I think I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. Let's go for it. Do you know what I'm going to do first? I'm going to just get one of those shulkers that I threw over here. Um, there's some free shulkers, by the way, in the in the here. If anyone would like them, just take them. You should be able to take them up. Oh, no. Whop. It's going to be a mess, but it'll be our mess. 
Oh, a fence or flowers down the middle too. That would be nice. That'd be very, very cute. Oh, I had one already. That's okay. I just need to unload some bits and bobs that I don't need right now. And I don't want to keep going back and forth between here and the warehouse, you know? Uh, actually, I need those. I have stuff I need to pick. Uh, I need to drop off again soon, but that's okay. I think it'll be worth it. I think they'd be nice. I might start taking up the rails in that case so that we can actually decorate. Alright. Oh. My pickaxe is too strong. Hang on. It's too powerful. Oh, now it's not powerful enough. Okay, we're just have to go. We're going to just have to be careful. Otherwise, we'll wreck the whole place. Just have to go fast. Just have to go fast. Just keep going fast. Um, Midland says how to get into the server. You need an active Twitch subscription to me, and then if you head over to Discord, you can join up and you can play on Java or Bedrock. Um, Java's recommended because you'll get the full experience, but you don't need any client side mods or anything like that. Anything unusual is just a plugin. And you're welcome to come in. Oga Chaka, hello, I'm well. How are you doing yourself? Come in, come in, come in. How are you? Vibe, and I hope you're having a good Wednesday. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. The question is how do you want to arrange the redstone torches? I reckon we could probably put them underground because that makes them nice and tidy. Oh, oopsie. Makes them nice and tidy all together. Just, you know, keeps everything neat. <laughs> Lando, did I say hello to you or did I think it loudly? Hi, how are you doing? Doing fine, God, see you're doing well. Ah, good to hear you're doing well yourself, Huga Chaka. I'm actually trying to think, where can I get a load of bone meal? Somebody did give me a load of bone meal thinking now when we were doing the West Tunnel. Because we needed a lot for that. I'm going to make sure I'm still picking these up. Do, 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 do. Bone meal factory. We probably do have a bone meal factory. Come here, come here. Let me pick you up. I'm just gonna sacrifice the this. What would you say is a needed build or plugin in the server? What do you mean, like something that's essential? Um, we have we have vanilla tweak, not vanilla tweaks. Um, something similar to Essentials X or something like that, that just gives us a few quality of life things, like we can teleport to different players and stuff like that. Um, we have the minecart speed boost, which is very nice. We have death chests, which I think is essential unless you have like a super hardcore server. Which means if you die, all your stuff goes into a chest and you just go back and open the chest and you get your stuff back. It's nice. It's nice. It takes a lot of the, the fear of dying out of it. I mean, you do still have to go and find your chest again. It'll give you the coordinates, but I think that's a really, really important one. Because this isn't like a competitive server or anything. It's just a bit of crack, you know? Just a bit of crack. Does anyone else who ha have a crippling deep yearn to always build underground in Minecraft? It's you feel like I don't know. It feels like having a secret hideout if you build underground in Minecraft. It's nice. It's cozy, you know. It feels super secret, top secret, in fact. I have so many bones of need, but be thank you so much, Tragic Pasta. I feel like I had a load left over from the West Tunnel, and I just don't know where they're gone. Yeah, the underground is also where all the good stuff is. The good stuff. I love... I love when builds go through mountains and stuff. I think it's so, so cool. Kayakat says, I'm trying to get on the server, but the, the rats have chewed... They chewed through the wire of the mouse. I think they're trying to send a message to mice. Oh, that's rough. I'm so sorry. Is there already some sort of underground build in the server? Oh, there's definitely a few, I'd say. I couldn't tell you the locations of all of them. Or I'd have to kill you. No, that's a lie. I don't know. I know there's loads there underground. There's a load on top of and through mountains and stuff. And it's very cool. Death chest is so nice. I realize the reason I quit Minecraft's world is because I die and lose my hours worth of grind and stuff. You won't lose it. Now, you you have to go out of your way to find it, but it still takes so much of the pain out of it. Because I get, I get a bit frustrated if I lose all of my stuff. As anyone would. As anyone would. So it is nice to have, you know. It means you can go off on adventures and try to fight things and stuff. And you're not going to lose all your stuff if you misstep. And I think that's neat. Dwarf life is the only one for me. Rock and stone. Rock and stone. I'm less a dwarf, more a hobbit, says Mulk. I make an indent into a hill as a house. I love that. 
I love that. We have a couple of little, um, what you call, hobbit hole houses, and they're very cute. Mine looks a bit like it is. I suppose my house is kind of into a hill. Hang on, I'll show you quick. I want to redecorate because Halloween is coming up. Here we go. It's kind of a hobbit house. It's in the side of this hill, and this is where my house, my, my usually used home, has been on the server since, like, May 2020. I've never changed the location of my main home. I have an island elsewhere, but I don't actually go out there very often. I much prefer my little house in town. It feels cozy. I'm going to be honest, I do kind of treat the main server town as my back garden sometimes. Oh, that's that's not right. That's not right. Bopachu, yes, it's 1.19. We are going to update soon. We just have not the chance. Fixed. It's all fixed, don't worry. It's a little fixed. Don't don't worry about it. It's fine. It just Don't worry about it. <laughs> ah yes, the gaping hole into the void, my favorite. Uh mm. Uh mm. Ha. Huh. I'm I can never figure out what causes this. Let me just, uh... There we go, fixed, all good. It was only on my end, I don't, I, I'm pretty sure. Just gets a bit funky sometimes, you know? Just a little funky. And the one mod command I really envy is the back command, being able to hop to base studies would be so helpful. Um, you can... Actually, just so everyone knows, we added a second home warp. I don't know if everyone actually knew that. I want to make sure everyone knows, because it's very, very handy to have. We were very against at first, because we were like, eh, you know, we want people to explore and whatever, but second home warp. They could do things more easily. Why not? Oh, what have we got over here? Are those mangrove leaves? Are they? They are. Ooh. Ooh, I lads, what do we think of the mangrove leaves? That's nice. That gives a really nice bit of depth. Yeah, love that. Love that. Into that. On board with that. That's excellent. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. Um, I'm going to throw some stuff up here. Actually, do you know what? I might just throw this shulker down here. I'm gonna just put it here. Boopity. So I can throw in... I'm going to throw in rails and bits and bobs that anyone might need. Bunny Aoife, hello, how are you doing? Come on in, how's things? Oh, itchy, 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 itchy. Ta -da. I'm going to go and get a bit of bone meal because I want to try the thing with the moss. I think I might have some in my house. Oh wait, actually, are there bones in here? No, I don't know why I thought there would be. You can make a nice ceiling design with the mangrove leaves. That would be nice. That would be lovely. Get in. Uh, why would I, Wait, why would I have bones in my house? Oh, never mind. I do have bones in my house. I, I should never doubt myself, really, should I? Okay, I have six bone meal and I'm not afraid to use it. Yeah. So it won't do it as something on top, but it does still significantly cut significantly cut down the amount of effort you have to put in. Yeah, it doesn't go under the track, so we'll still have to replace that. I might just take up the track entirely now. I'll just drop some more stuff out of my inventory. This is so sick. Hello? Oh, it did make a hole in the ground. That might have been there already. I think that might have been my fault. Oopsie. Right, I will start taking up the rails and stuff, and I'm gonna throw some bits and bobs in here. I don't know if we'll really need all of this. There's some frog lights and stuff in here. Anything we don't end up needing, we can put back into the place, um, into Aesthetics frog light stand. Uh, common moss W. Do we still have the moss command? Exclamation mark moss. See if we still have the moss command. Have you ever seen people with moss lawns? So cool. Oh, oopsie. Very, very cool. If you can't maintain a grass lawn, but you don't want 
I don't know, a void. An ecological void. You can just... You can just put down moss. Certain kinds of moss grow really, really well like a lawn, and I think that's neat. I think that's very neat. Let me just... Oh, no, this is so slow, I'll die. A patch of my childhood home's lawn got taken over by moss. And moss is so nice. Like, it's so soft. And it is... It's so, so good for, like, insects and biodiversity. Like, it, it's so cool. So, so cool. I actually would love to try it. Because you can sit on moss. Like, I mean, it can get a bit weird, but... If you want a lawn that just looks nice and green and you don't want to look after it very much and you, you know, you don't want it to be a sterile wasteland, just moss. Just put down some moss. I wish I didn't keep taking up chunks of the ground. I might just keep going. Tombax, welcome back. We're so far so good. We have a team on board now to work on the tunnel, which is excellent. Moss does look like a little forest up close. It's so cool. It's so, so cool. Actually, Mulk, good point. Um, moss isn't prickly. Grass can be kind of prickly. Certain kinds of grasses are very, like, pointy. Very, very pointy. I want moss to consume me, my law, and my existence. Everything. And you're right to, you know. You're right to. There's worse ways to be, you know. There's worse ways to be. I just think it's neat. I think it looks nice. You know? Flying is also about moss growing underneath the waterfall of my pond. It's very pretty. Oh, yeah. Yes, that's the good stuff. The good stuff. Is it moss that you can eat in Stardew Valley, or did I just make that up in my brain? Go away! Get, get, you, you, don't you start! Go away! Leave me alone! The nerve of some people, huh? The nerve of some people. Don't you even think about it. Oh, I can't- I can't actually fly back up. Okay, back up we go. Ow. I don't have fly enabled right now, which is why I'm taking so much damage when I fall. Oh, 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 I've fallen. Please, please, just let me stand, please. Okay, now I'm going to enable fly because I'm terrible. I'm a terrible devil, really. Oh, it's algae I'm thinking about. Is it algae or algae? Or Ali G in the house. I don't know. I, 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 I have awful time trying to pronounce some things. I get... I overthink it. I massively overthink it. We're gonna have to put down some torches so that no lads start spawning in here. Are you thinking of fiddlehead ferns? I might be, and I love... Lads, just say fiddlehead fern like five times. I promise you will feel so much better afterwards. You'll feel so, so much better. Even if you already feel pretty good. Fiddlehead fern. It's just a great name. It's just, it's just good. I think it's cool anyway. I don't know. I don't know. I love plants with cool names. Like, I've, I've definitely gotten a rant about this before. Probably even on, like, Twitter and stuff. But my f one of my favorite plants is called Maidenhair Spleenwort. And I just think that's such a good name. Maidenhair Spleenwort. We look at a, mo a, a, it's a, a piece of moss or, like, fern or whatever. And you're like, what's that look f like? Maidenhair. You know what? Spleen. I'm like, okay. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I'm gonna just put down a lantern because I don't have any torches left and I don't want to die instantly. Actually, wait. That's fine. I'll deal with it later. My favorite flower is the chrysanthemum, partially because of the name. It's a good name. It's a good, respectable name, chrysanthemum. Sounds like a... Actually, you know what? Maiden here being worth does kind of sound like a bad name. Kind of does. Oh, we're digging out the, the ceiling again. Uh, 
Baobab is one of my favorite words for anything ever. It's also a cool tree. Is that how you pronounce that? Baobab. Baobab. I never know how to say it. Moss ceiling. Can we just bone meal the moss ceiling to make it more moss? I promise I'm not being funny. Like, can we just bone meal the ceiling to make more moss? I have bone meal here. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it unprompted because I don't want to mess anything up, but... I love an orchid myself. Name my Tears of the Kingdom. Horse after it. Oh! That's so sweet. Okay, let me... Let me... Oh, you can't bone meal underneath something. Okay, that's fair enough. What a scam. Well, it was worth a try. Hello. Um... Alistari says, I'm a big fan of foxglove flowers. They're very pretty. They're gorgeous. Foxgloves are so, so pretty. I'm pretty sure they're poisonous, so don't, don't like, stick your hands in and around them, but they are very, very nice. Very, very pretty. Safety tip. Don't, don't fly into things, lads. Don't be doing that. Okay, I'm gonna make a load of stairs. I'm just gonna run them down. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna run them down the side. Um, I'm gonna have to get some... I'm gonna make some out of this stuff. I'm gonna put this over here as well onto the the work area. They are yeah, they are poisonous foxglove, but they're so pretty. They're so so pretty. They're absolutely gorgeous. Did I just not pick up the thing I tried to pick up? I need that. Uh, there's more of them in there. Give me that. And we make bricks and we make steps and this won't get me very far. But this is nice. Oh, they're only bad if you consume the nectar. Ah. Oh. Ooh. Very nice. A small price to pay to have the cute purple flowers. So the stem is fine. You can eat the stem. Oh, oopsie. Actually, do you know what? I have to... I have to sabotage the well-being of the server for a moment. Because I need to... I'm also going to turn the sound down. I need to commit murders to fix my pickaxe. Don't, don't mind me. Don't mind me. My favorite flower is Asian Bleeding Heart. I don't think I've seen that. I, the name's kind of familiar, but I can't picture it in my mind. I don't know why. I can't picture it at all at all. I love, and I know this is kind of basic, but I don't care. I love lavender so much. I have a massive lavender plant in the back garden. That we're going to, I'm bringing with us. I'm putting it in the ground. It deserves to have more space. It's been stuck in that pot for years, years and years, years. The flowers of Asian Bleeding Heart look like pink hearts. It does sound familiar. Maybe it, it is what I think, I'm thinking in my head. Do they kind of hang down, sort of? Or am I maybe thinking of something else? Lavender is lovely, one of my favorite scents. It's so nice. And I think a lot of people don't like lavender because artificial lavender is one of the worst smells. Like, it's so terrible. But real lavender, like, straight off the plant is so nice. So, 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 so nice. Like, if you run your hand through a lavender bush and just go, it's so good. Oh, so, so nice. Lavender is so good for bees. Oh, my goodness. That, that plant outside just be full of bees in the summer. Full of them. Full of them. They hang down and look like pink hearts. Then that's exactly the one I'm thinking of. That's it's very, very pretty. It's so nice. I got a big old lavender twist above my bed, as you should. As you should. I actually reminds me, I need to cut back that lavender plant fairly significantly in a little while. Because it's getting a bit it's getting a bit woody and it tends to get a bit strange. Like it, it gets too big and doesn't really flower as much, so I need to cut back a little bit. Kuro says we have a lilac bush in our garden, very pretty, and the smell oh stop lilac is so Oh, lilac is so, so nice. A gorgeous smell. Um, Kibulation says, I really like begonia, but mostly because my family have some. They're all cuttings of cuttings of cuttings of the same original plant. Oh, the same plant your great-grandma had. That's lovely. That's so, so sweet. I love growing stuff from cuttings. And that's, that's so sentimental. That's so sweet. I like that. That's very nice. If... Come here to me. If any of you pirate plants, I'm not a snitch, okay? I'm not a snitch. I'm no snitch. I love lilac, but I'm allergic. Oh no, you're allergic. 
It's so cruel to be allergic to something that you love the smell of or that you just, like, really like. Give me that. It's so cruel. I'm just gonna let a few of them gather. Yeah, plants don't care about piracy laws. You wouldn't download a flower. Ah. But you would. I downloaded a cactus when I was in Tenerife. Not the most recent trip when I went a fair few years ago. And my mom loves a bit of plant piracy. Last time I saw her, she had me sticking my hand out the window while she drove down the road to get some plant. Fair play, honestly. Fair play. I have a little rose bush outside. Now, it hasn't been doing great because I just I don't have space for it. Like, we don't have dirt to stick it in. And I'm going to put it in the ground. And I'm going to let it grow properly when, we have, when we've moved. Or I'll see when's the best time to repot it. But... I took a cutting off a rose bush next to my mum's house and I I forgot about it. I put it in a little pot, I put water in, I tied like a little bag around it and I forgot about it and I went to look at it like a month later and had a leaf. I was like... So it's still alive, it's still going, it just needs a bit of TLC and a bit of space. Kirsten C, how are you doing? Hello, hello, hello. I definitely pirate non-native species of plants in my garden, as you should, Zero Bix. Honest God, that's seriously, seriously. If you're planting something into the ground in your garden, make sure it's a native plant or you're going to be paying for it for the rest of your life. And you have to promise me something. Don't ever plant mint in the ground. Don't ever put a mint plant in the ground. If you have a mint plant, keep it in a container, keep it in a pot, keep it indoors if you can. Do not put it in the ground or it is going to, it's going to grow everywhere. You're never going to get rid of it. And I love mint, don't get me wrong, but it goes everywhere. It goes absolutely everywhere. I'm trying to fill up the thing on my th thing and it won't go the thing, you know? I mint in the ground, it can't survive the winter. At least it can't survive the winter, that's something. But in a lot of places, it can. It's a fairly hardy plant, like, especially in this climate. Wait, oregano? Really? I dare you to plant mint next door, next to your neighbor's wall one week before you leave. See, I would, but there's no dirt to plant it in. It's all concrete. That's concrete, baby. Now, knowing mint, it would probably come up through the cracks in the, in the concrete. Did I ever tell you I accidentally grew, like, an almost six-foot sunflower out of a crack in the, the pavement outside? A single sunflower seed must have, because I didn't do it deliberately, must have fallen out of the bird feeder, gone into the crack in the concrete, and it just started growing. And it grew, and it grew, and it grew. This is a good few years ago. I have no photos, unfortunately, or anything. But it just kept going. It just kept going. Blackberry bushes grow insanely fast. See, I want a blackberry bush, but they're not invasive here. They're native, as far as I know. And blackberries. Oh, goodness. Is there anyone here who has not had the experience of picking blackberries? Because, oh my god. Freshly picked blackberries are one of the nicest things in the world. Like, they really, really are. Okay, that's gonna do. I don't want to keep hitting these guys. Wait. 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 Okay, there we go. Oh, we're working! The work is proceeding. Alright, I'm gonna place more of these. I made blackberry jam over the summer. Oh, it's so good! I made a black cherry, a black black cherry jam, blackberry jam when I was maybe eight, and I still think about it. Like it turned out so nice. I don't know. I haven't made one since. Let's get on that sometime. I'm going to make more. Actually, do you know if I just, if I just, wait, does this have a silk touch? No, it doesn't. When I was a wee lad, I helped my grandma pick raspberries, by which I mean she picked them off the bush. I, a bush and I ate them out of her basket. That's so sweet. That's so, so sweet. Uh, my mom got me the blackberry bushes for my birthday. I was so happy. They've taken up an entire patch of my childhood's home yard. Yes! Oh, like, oh, they're just so nice. They're so, so, so nice. Delicious. Oh, mini squatches on the server. Hang on, hang on. Hang on, it's tradition. Welcome to the server. Bam, 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 bam. Here is some food for you. Behind you. Behind you, Lady Capybara. I hope we don't overload them. <laughs> Make sure to get yourself a copy of the... Yes, we have loads. Server rules. Bing, bing. Teleport guide. Farms and places of interest. Oh, we only have one of those left. Hang on. 
Would you give me a second? We just need to uh, do with the magic. I need to duplicate these. This is the fastest way to do it. I don't want... I want to make sure we don't run out of these. There we go. Okay, all done. Excellent. Can I ask Lady Capybara to get rid of their lava for a second? I'm about to burn up what lava where? Wait. Wh where's the lava? The cobblestone generator. Wait, how how did you get in the cobblestone generator? How'd you end up in there? Yellow. I'm going to make... Oh, by accident. Okay, okay. Um, Do you want me to teleport you out? Are you stuck? Because you are, I can just drag it out. That's not that many. Hello. The Land of Rest. Thank you so much for four months. I hope we're keeping well. Thank you for a long time. Then did it. Did it oat seeds? Dun, 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 dun. Da, 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 da. Why is it so satisfying to just keep placing little bricks? I need to go and get loads more of the stuff. Hang on. I'm gonna put the rest wow. the rest of these rails into the box down here. It's a, it's a great username. I I'd love a rest. <laughs> I'll have a good hour rest. Oh, loads of bone meal. Excellent. Uh, more rails, more rails, more rails. Uh, I'll take these out. Actually, I could... I don't need... I can put some stuff back. I'll contribute some bones. Excellent. Okay, now I'm going to go to the warehouse. I'm going to get more of the good stuff. Gonna get more of what we need. Mo just says, I recently learned that raspberry bushes should be replaced every couple of years and they shouldn't be kept for 15 years like the ones in my garden grew for. Sure, look, it happens, you know, it happens. It could happen to anybody. I'm gonna make tons of this stuff. I probably don't need that, it's fine. Okay. I'm gonna just do this here because it's probably much easier. And easier to keep track of as well. This needs music makes me want to play the older Pokemon games. Do it, do it, you have my blessing. You go play those Pokemon games. Do it. Gotta do it like this. Do you know what else is a bad idea to plant? Go on. Catnip. Oh, I've heard catnip goes mad. Um, Some friends of mine had catnip, catnip for their cat and they had to get rid of it because I think it was just going everywhere. I think it's because, um, if I'm not mistaken, I think catnip might be in the mint family. So it would grow in a very similar, like, mad way. Yeah, catnip's mint. That's it. It smells very suspicious, grows like crazy, and you get all kind of furry weirdos in the garden. Hey, listen, that convention was, you know, it was last week. No, but seriously, I, I, I've heard it's very, 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 very hard to get rid of. Um, Kibbalation says, I've been playing Black and White 2 again lately. Just went and finally caught Kyurem a good three and a half years after completing the main story in the game. Rocked up in the cave, like, hey, bud, how you, how you doing? Lovely to see you. How, how's things? It took me so long to finish Pokemon White and... I'm so glad I went back and finished it. Like, it was years and years and years it took me. And it's a great game. It's a great game. I bought it when it came out, and I only finished it, like, 2014, I think. Which is quite a long time for me to finish a Pokemon game, or would have been at the time. Like, I used to I used to finish the game in, like, two weeks while doing quite a lot of study in school and everything, do you know? Okay, we're getting Cobble. Cobble. Black Cross Dragon says, is this a bad that this is the fifth time I dozed off in stream? The music's so calming, I don't know why, but Irish voices are so soothing. Do you think I'm pure soothing, huh? <laughs> uh, no, I'm, you know what? I don't think it's a bad thing. I mean, if you're relaxed, then you're enjoying yourself. How bad? How bad? How bad? Gen 5 is object objectively the best generation of Pokemon. I will not be taking any opposing opinions. I won't even argue with you because it is very, very good. I do want to play more of Gen 5, though, because I feel like I finished it and then I never really went back properly. Whereas with the other games, I was just, like, non-stop. I would just play and play and play and level up all my Pokemon and do all the extra stuff. And I never did that, and I'd like to go back and do it properly now. Hello! Oons, oons, oons. Welcome to the warehouse. Literally, everything is free. Take whatever you want. And if you ever have anything to spare, contribute if you can.
I'm actually gonna go out here just so I'm not in their way. Go have a proper wander, see everything. I uh, bought Legends Arceus on release, mostly done with the main story, but still not done with it. I'm probably gonna start it over because I got distracted by something else in the middle and I didn't get to finish it. I'd like to just completely start it over. And out of curiosity, what are you doing with the blocks there, Cake? I am making these back into cobble. So they were mined with silk touch, and to make the blocks we need, they need to be cobble first. So I'm just cobbling them. Because there's no cobble in storage, or at least there's none that I can see. There might be some hiding in there, but look. It's kind of relaxing to do, at least, you know? If nothing else, it's very soothing. So how bad? How bad? Five is my favorite, but I feel like Gen 6 doesn't get enough love. Gen 6, I feel, really did not get enough credit. I thought Gen 6 was really, really good. Very, very fun. I thought it was a good balance of, you know, accessible, but not too, too handholdy. Now, mind you, I haven't played it in quite a while. Maybe it's not as good as I remember, but look. I have 10 double chests of cobble deep side at my tree. Oh, I had no idea. Well, sure, look, I'm almost done this. That's all right. I'm doing a bit of cobbling, are you? Yummy stone cobbler. Just the thing. Just the thing with a hot cup of tea. That's the thing in my head. It's gone. It's gone. Can't remember what I was going to say. That's okay. I love Pokemon Sun and Moon with all my life. I could get into Sun and Moon. But again, I think I was just not in the zone when I was playing it, you know? I need one more stack. And then, we, then we'll go and make all of our stuff. I think it's because I went to Sun and Moon being like, oh, this is amazing and new and it's all new. And it was like, it was a good Pokemon game, but I think I hyped it up nearly too much for myself. I've heard the Ultra versions are really good. Like it fleshes out a lot more of the story and everything. You know? Um, Roddy says, I haven't played X and Y since they came out. I definitely enjoyed it, but I also felt it was the first time I played where I was like, this is not made for me anymore. I think I, I felt that with Sword and Shield. Sword and Shield was the first Pokemon game where I just went... This has not sucked me in the way the others have. Actually, no, that's a lie. Sorry, Sun and Moon did that to me. But I eventually got through it and I, I did enjoy it. But Sword and Shield really felt strange for me. I don't know why. It's just, I suppose it was a big departure, but, you know. Maybe I also need to get over myself and get out of my, get outside the box more often. I don't know. Bricks. Stairs. Bricks. Stairs. Stairs. Okay, here we go. Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon are the hardest mainline games ever made if you don't count ROM hacks. Really? I didn't know that. I didn't know that at all. The more you know. Oh, I've already messed this up. Maybe that's why I'm having a hard time with enjoying Scarlet and Violet. I'll be honest, I'm in I enjoy Scarlet and Violet much, much, much more than I did um what you call Sword and Shield. Like much, much more. I'm actually just going to do do the end along here. If you play the DLC, I haven't I haven't I haven't even finished the main story of Pokémon Violet. I think it's is it Violet I got. I don't know. I've had nothing spoiled for me. Like I actually haven't had the story spoiled for me at all at all somehow, but I just I I just haven't had the brain power to sit down with a video game on the couch in ages and it's one of those games I have to sit down and play in chunks of like six hours I just haven't had that time in a long time which is very sad really and I play it on stream but I get I go completely dead silent when I'm playing something like Pokemon I just I go into my own world if I played a Pokemon game on stream it would have to be like it'd have to be a mystery dungeon you know it'd have to be a mystery dungeon there's no way I could concentrate on anything else and talk oh oops Um, Sword and Shield was an empty Switch game. Scarlet Violet's a great PS2 game. Like, I think the gameplay is always going to be more important for me, but they just need to let the games cook for a little longer. But they've snookered themselves. Game Freak and the Pokemon Company have snookered themselves because they need, they need, and I don't think they really need, but they need the game releases to coincide with the the trading card game, with the merch releases, all that kind of stuff. Like, they, they always want it to all line up, but like, they have to start letting go of that at some point, you know? Because it's not really sustainable. And I love Pokemon. Like, I still do. I really, really do. And I still enjoy the games. But they need to let them cook for longer. They really, really, really do. It makes such a big difference. You see, that's the thing as well. They're going to be successful no matter how bad they are. Because, like... They... 
they're still largely targeting kids and kids are going to play it for the most part and be like, yeah, this is great. This is great. And they're going to have a great time as they should. Don't get me wrong. As they should. I don't think any, I don't think any child should be playing a Pokemon game and be like, mm, actually the development quality is not really up to standard on this. And I don't like these JPEGs. They're like, I, I, like a child should never be thinking about playing a game. They should just be having fun first and foremost. And you know what? So should we. <laughs> so should we. But when, when when you know it hasn't been cooked long enough, it's it's just disappointing. Gaming Gal, hello. They recently said they're going to be increasing development time on the next, next Pokemon titles. I really hope so. Because I know they can do better. I know they can do better than that. But... And I hope they do. Oh, I didn't turn the sound back up after baiting up the Ender Men. You know? Thing is, the TCG doesn't really line up. It took some time for the TCG to catch up with Scarlet and Violet. I don't like they use that in his excuse, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I would gladly drop over 800 USD on the best Switch and hardware if there was a quality Pokemon game. Main reason I haven't gotten a Switch for myself yet. But the thing is, like, there are so many games on the Switch that look absolutely incredible, like really stunning. Now, generally, they're first-party Nintendo games. So Nintendo would probably just, you know. They fully intend to make them look good. But look, it is what it is. I don't like going on about it too much because, like, it is what it is. Like, the whole point is they need to let the games cook longer. They're still enjoyable. But they just need a little more time. You know? Yeah, Breath of the Wild is a really, really good example of a game that's on the Switch and looks stunning. Because they went with an art style that wouldn't make the switch explode. Now there's one or two areas where it's a little dicey, but for 99.9% .9 of the gameplay, it's immaculate. Like it really, really is. It really, really is. And again, it's a first party Nintendo game, whereas Pokemon games are not. They're made by Game Freak. Which is easy to forget sometimes because, you know, Pokemon is it's a Nintendo game as far as anyone's concerned when you think about it that way, you know? Game Freak tried to release a Breath of the Wild size game in two years, exactly. If they'd let that cook for longer, you know? And they should have. Ah, they should have done. They should have done. But your look. Here we are, lads. I had to finish Tears of the Kingdom. But I'm not going to force myself. I'm just going to finish it whenever I'm in the humor. It's funny, actually. I have, a, I have a funny little story for you. So the day that Tears of the Kingdom came out, um, I had to play it. Oh, oopsie. I had to play it in the car. I had to play the opening on my Switch handheld in the car. The sun was so bright I couldn't see the screen properly. It was, you know, a subpar experience. And the reason that I had to play it in the car is because we were scrambling down to the place we're moving now. Not to the house. To see a different house. We were scrambling to make it in time for a house viewing. For a house we ultimately didn't go for. And realistically, the next time I really sit down and play Tears of the Kingdom will be in our new house. And I think that's sweet. I don't I think that's sweet. Ah, It's all working out good. Oh, Lark is going for it. No better man for the job, I'll tell you now. No better man for the job. Oh, I forgot to get the ones over my head. Is there a switch to or any plans for it? I'm I'm kind of expecting they're going to announce... Sorry, I, my voice feels really strange today. Hang on, I'll just take a sip of water. I feel like my voice is either too low and too quiet, or really up here, and I, I think I'm just... Maybe I'm just straining my voice. But um, I feel like I would expect them to announce a new Switch console in the next year or two. Because the Switch has been out since... It's 2016 or 2017, I can't remember. It's been a while anyway, I'll tell you that. It's been a while. But... It'd be nice. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't look forward to shelling out money for a new console. I did have a dream last night that I bought a PS4, which I, I would kind of maybe like at some stage. I don't know. Oh no, Jeff! Switch you, there's no way we fuck this up twice. Yeah. Surely not. See, that's the thing. I've I'm afraid that if they make a new model of Switch, like, people aren't going to understand that it's a new console. Do you know? Some speculation might come out next year. Tails, Matt, how are you doing? I wouldn't be surprised if they did it for next year. There's a lot of rumors starting to fly around as well for announcements at the Game Awards. And the Game Awards, I think, is in December? 
Does, did Brian just swear? Yeah, Brian will swear. Like I said, lads, you're allowed to swear. And so is Brian. Just don't be crude, you know? Just be, don't be crude and disgusting. Um, haven't we finally gotten credible rumors that the Switch 2 is a thing? We kind of have. We kind of have. But we just, like, it could be a thing. We just don't know and we'll, when or if we'll hear about it. If it'll happen at all. Surely it would. Considering the how expensive the OLED was, would a new Switch console be like 400 euro? It probably would. Like, it could even be more. And I mean, consoles have gotten so expensive as well. Like, geez, the, the PS5 launch price... And don't get me wrong, I know it's a lot of... It's a lot of high-spec stuff going on in there, do you know? A lot of high-spec stuff going on there, but it is... It was expensive! And I have, I have no desire to own a PS5, because the, the, the one singular... Actually, two games that I thought were going to be PS5 exclusive that I was interested in are now on Steam, or another PC platform, so... Um, Bug Snacks, which I want to play on stream at some point, and... Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, they are the only games I was interested in on PS5, so, you know. Now I have no reason to buy one. Yeah, inflation did hit, hit tech stuff really hard, especially in the last few years, because there was huge shortages and stuff, do you know? Kibulation says, as a Splatoon player, my main hope is for Nintendo to work on better netcode. Oh, you are among friends. I don't play Splatoon myself, because um, I hardly give myself functional free time as it is, but we have a lot of Splatoon fans here. Lots of Splatoon fans. Has to be said that Microsoft has recently wanted to buy Nintendo. Isn't that class as a monopoly on the game, though? I really... I, listen, this is going to sound really strange. This is going to sound very, very strange. Because I would like Nintendo to get their act together. I don't want Microsoft to acquire them. I don't want this... I, I don't want this monopoly on gaming. You know, I think even though Nintendo do stupid stuff, they should stay their own company. I don't think they should be acquired by anybody, to be quite honest. Unless it's someone who isn't a game company who can maybe just tell them to cop onto themselves. Yeah, if Microsoft buys Nintendo, that's, it's, it's all over. It's all over. I really would not like that to happen. Like, buying game studios is one thing. Buying... Buying companies that make the games and the consoles is just... Ooh, no. No. No, I'm not into that. Yeah, they've been trying to buy Activision Blizzard for the longest time, and that's going about as well as you'd expect. I'm just going to get some torches. I don't know why I'm making my life so difficult. I made the free torch stand and I forget to go and take free torches. So, Logie, hello. Leaked email that said they're interested. I very much doubt Nintendo will ever want to sell. See, that's a thing. I do not think they would sell. You know? It's not like Nintendo are short of money. You know? And you can tell because they won't make money for themselves in easy ways. But I, I couldn't see them selling... Now, maybe I'll be eating my words in a few years, and that'd be awful, but... Would it be any better if Sony bought Nintendo? I don't know. Yeah, I don't think... I think Nintendo are way too protective of their IP. Like, I would say that... Nintendo is so iconic. And all their... All their IP is so iconic. Like, people who don't play video games and never have played video games recognize Nintendo stuff a lot of the time. Do you know? Oh, if they be cleared on the Activision acquisition. This better not be disastrous. This better this better somehow work out good. All I'm saying, lads, listen. All I'm saying is I don't really I don't like Activision as a company, but they do own Toys for Bob. And you know what Toys for Bob have? They have made a fairly solid remaster of the original Spyro trilogy. And now, if I may say, I would be confident in putting Toys for Bob in charge of perhaps making a new Spyro game. Now listen, listen, I know what you're thinking. Cake, no one's gonna make a new Spyro game. I know what you're thinking, but listen, shut up. Give me this, okay? Give me something to hold on to. What if... What if we got a new Spyro game? Okay, let's... Uh, what if we got... What if we got a new Spyro game? What if we got a new Spyro game, though? We can dream. Listen, Spyro the Dragon, PS1, my favorite game as long as I can remember. I would love a real, a proper follow-up to the PS1 trilogy. <laughs> You've cursed Skylanders back into existence. Oh, goodness. Do we put forth a monkey's paw scenario and new Skylanders come out? See, that's the thing. I'd be, I'd be scared that that would happen. I'd be like, yeah, we're going to get a new Spyro game at Skylanders. Oh, you're not. You know what? I'm taking you to baby jail because you were you were too actually you're actually too well behaved to be in there. 
Skylander Spyro is just... Skylanders, I hear, is a very, very fun game. It's just not my thing, but I still don't understand why they made him look the way they made him look. I don't get it. I don't get it. It doesn't make sense to me. Look, the bit was too easy. Oh, now you're in baby jail. Well, lads, you better make the most of it. It's an awful affliction, really. You'd be stuck there forever. Toys for Bob made the amazing game series Star Control, though they only own the name now. I've actually not heard of Star Control. Despite being a video game streamer. Oh, this is coming along nice. Despite being a video game streamer, it's a lot of games I actually don't know. Sometimes I'm just out of the loop, you know? Just out of the loop entirely. Skyland to stream when? I mean... I do have a Skylander Spyro that someone gave me quite a few years ago. I have a little Skylander Spyro. And he's so scrungly that I actually kind of want to keep him. I've had him for years. Like, someone gave me this, like, 2015, 16, like, a long time ago. And I'm, I'm almost a bit attached to him. Like, I think the design is terrible, but he's cute, you know? He's charming. I think charming is the word I'm looking for. Apparently the UK regulators are set to rule on the all oh, on the active hook acquisition next week. Ooh. That'll be interesting to see. But listen, okay, no, no, you have to hear me out on the Spyro thing, okay? I do have my reasons for thinking we could get a new one. Because, listen, Toys for Bob put up a hiring thing a couple of months ago. And the whole thing has been, oh, everyone in Toys for Bob is working on Call of Duty. They've always been the Call of Duty team. That's it. Co Toys for Bob shut down Call of Duty. However, they put out a hiring call a couple of months ago. Maybe the start of this year. Could have been last year. I don't remember. Time's not real. And on that image for the hiring, do you know what they put on there? And the graphic they used for their hiring call, they had Spyro in the background and a portal from a Spyro game. And this year for Spyro's 25th anniversary, they went so wild. Like, they made new accounts on social media. Like, Spyro the Dragon accounts. Not Toys for Bob accounts. Spyro the Dragon accounts on, like, TikTok on... No, Th Threads is not available here. But, like, everywhere they could where they didn't have a presence already. They started, like, really... And they'd always been kind of good at interacting with the community. But they started really posting, like, really interacting, like... Liking and interacting with fan art, all that kind of, like, re like, 100%, 120%. And everyone was like, this is... This is pretty good. Jake J says, I hope Stuart Copeland makes the soundtrack again. Me too. He's, he's excellent. He's excellent. He got the vibe right. Will the remaster include Enter the Dragonfly? Not if I could help it. I used to think that maybe you could remaster Enter the Dragonfly to something good, but I think it's actually better off dead. Having replayed it recently, I think it's better off in the void in the ground forever. I don't know if I told you this, I think I might have mentioned it when we played it, Into the Dragonfly, but when Stuart Copeland, because he did the soundtrack for Into the Dragonfly as well, when he was asked to do the soundtrack for Into the Dragonfly and he was given like the prompts and all this kind of stuff, um, he said something in an interview, something along the lines of, when I saw the work on Into the Dragonfly, when I saw how it was going, that's when I knew that my work and Spyro the Dragon had become, begun to diverge. And that is so... That is cutting. That is unbelievably cutting. Like, that's... Ooh. That stings, you know? Oh, no, Monkey's Paw, new Spyro games, the Enter the Dragonfly remaster. Oh. Actually, come here to me. Shadow Dragon. Can I get some of the cobbly slate off you. Hello. This looks nice. Oh, this looks so nice. It's so bright. One sec. Take your time. Thank you, Shadow Dragon. This musician's coach saying, yeah, I'm not working on this project anymore, more or less. And to be fair, I don't think... I don't think he did the... No, I don't think he did the soundtrack for A Hero's Tale. And I haven't played A Hero's Tale yet because I... I couldn't get past the, like, tutorial phase of it. I actually found it really tedious. Now, a lot of people say they love it, but I don't know if it's maybe nostalgia or what. And I'm not judging anyone, you know. I like a lot of things. I like lots of media that's technically not that great. So, I'm not one to judge. 
next stream, hunt down every copper copy of Enter the Dragonfly and destroy it. Destroy it. Don't give me ideas for free. No, force people to play it. Just force random people to play Enter the Dragonfly. I'm pretty sure the Geneva Convention does not allow us to do that. You have a shulker. Um, I'll get one. Hang on, give me a second. I can get a shulker. There we go. I have a shulker. The only Spyro game I ever played was the one on the Wii where he is chained to a woman dragon. Oh, that is... um, I think that's Dawn of the Dragon. Um, it's one of the Legend of Spyro series, which I only played two of. But apparently they're pretty good. I didn't get past like the halfway point of the second one, but it was all right. It was better than um, it was better than Enter the Dragonfly, I would say. They did retcon the entire story, but like it's fine. Oh, Shadow Dragon, thank you so much. You led. Oh, I'm just going to ignore your claims. If that's okay. Whoop. Oh, excellent. Thank you so, so much. I will put this to good use. I will just fill the tunnel with it. Uh, four more stacks. One, two, three, four. Did I take that off? I didn't. I just thought about it. Excellent. Bad Fruit, hello. If they make a new Spyro game, I wonder if they'll continue with the original trilogy or do a new storyline. See, that's I would love them to continue the original trilogy because they've already retconned Spyro already more than once he's been ret his whole story was retconned for the Legend of Spyro series and I I think it was retconned for Skylanders as well I might be wrong on that now don't quote me don't quote me I could be wrong but <laughs> listen lads he's been through the ringer I would love I would love for them to just continue the original trilogy now, the question is, what could they do to make it good? That is the big question. Do you know? And to be honest, I think all they need to do is make a fun platformer. I'm not even being funny. Like, I genuinely think that's all they need to do is make a fun platformer. Just make it a fun platformer. Make the gameplay good. The story doesn't have to be anything special. Am I making the right things? I am. And then everyone will have a nice day. Because the stories in Spyro games, like, are not... It's not... It's not Shakespeare, alright? And it doesn't have to be. It just has to be fun. Do you know? That's all we want at the end of the day. Just a bit of crack. A bit of running around. Some fun mini games. Golden. Give Spyro the Sonic treatment. It's all canon. Honestly, that'd probably be easier at this stage. That'd probably be much, much easier. Oh, Percy Jackson trailers. I didn't know there was new Percy Jackson coming out. I'm... Oh... Oops. I was never super into Percy Jackson, but I have to say, some people in chat have been kind of convincing me to catch up. Black Cross Dragon, go off to bed, get a good sleep, and we will catch you soon. I didn't even realize I'd been here for three hours already. I'll be here for another while, don't worry. I want to do some work on this. Oh, the Disney Plus TV show. Oh, I do remember you talking about this. I do. Does it look any good? Does it look at least halfway decent? Just even a little bit decent. Does it look acceptable? I always get worried about things being made into TV shows. And I have to say, I'm especially suspicious of Disney making TV shows of things after the Artemis Fowl thing. We don't... I'd say we don't talk about it, but I did bring it up. What they did to our boy. It looks fantastic and the author's been involved with everything. That's the only way to do it, to be honest. I mean, if the author's still alive, but that's the only way to do it. Three hours, time flies when you have things in the background playing games. I'll tell you, it really does. It flies by. You wouldn't even know the time has gone by. Much better than the movie already. From what I heard, the movie didn't set the bar very high. But that is... That's nice to hear. I'm glad it's getting proper treatment. When is it being made? Because I know... Aren't the strikes still ongoing? The, the Writers Guild strikes. It's the only thing I'd be concerned about. We're not breaking any picket lines, are we? Imagine the scriptwriters in a dark room with a Ouija board. Like, should we put this in the book? 
Oh, oh, they're spelling something out. It's spelling W H Y. Okay, okay. D O N T. Okay, write that down. Write that down. Y O U. Oh, oh, this is good. This is good. G O. Oh, my goodness. They're going to give us an idea. F U C. Okay, okay. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn the, turn the Ouija board off. That's how it would probably go. It premieres on December 20th. Ooh. It's not too far away. Give me that. A movie made via Ouija board sounds like it could be entertaining. That'd be pretty good. I mean, I definitely feel like I've watched... Oh, I forgot to tell you about the dumbest film I saw. I, I didn't watch the film, but I found it. Hang on. I found... A film that came out last year, and I only know it exists because I was trying to figure out the name of the actor who plays um, Lee Adama in Battlestar Galactica. And I looked through his, like, filmography, and he was in a film that came out last year called, and I'm not joking, Titanic 666. It has a score of 1 out of 10. I think this is the Titanic 3 or the Titanic... I don't think we saw a trailer for this, though. Because we did watch the Titanic 2 trailer. We definitely did. That's him. Jamie Bamber. That's your man who plays uh, Lee Adama in Battlestar or Played, if you like. I need I need to see the trailer of this, so I'm bringing you all along with me. Uh... It says it's a Tubi original. It's a Titanic zombie film. All right, all right, we're all in this together now. I'm on the deck of the, the Titanic, and I started hearing something. Ten years after the launch of the original, oh, Titanic 3 will set sail in just oh, this a few hours so on the bad. same path as her namesake. Oh my god, look at this ship! <laughs> we haven't even hit the worst part of it, I'm gonna lose my mind. Oh my god, look at this ship! Hang on, hang on. Okay, let me put it back on normal speed. I'm not gonna start YouTube pooping in real time again, I Oh promise. my god, look at this ship! It's time of your life. Okay, it's gonna be the time of Let's my life. Ah! We have cosplayers, mediums, relatives, and as you know, priceless relics from the original Titanic disaster. Full throttle. Full throttle. Full the throttle. Crew on the Atlantic. We are in open water. Haunted waters. On behalf of the White Star Lines, we'd like to welcome you aboard this maiden voyage of Titanic 3. So you thought you could just steal these from their final resting place? I preserve them mm. so their memories can live on. Ooh. I bet you're gonna want to know what hidden treasures are around here. This looks like unbelievably I bad. Call on you, you spirits, rise! How long has this been happening? How do these films get made? You are on hallowed water and you have desecrated it. Titanic 3 will set sail just, in just, just a few just hours me. on the same path as her namesake. Oh my god, look at this ship! Ship! Oh my god, look at this ship! I'm going to be thinking about that forever. 
Just one more time. One more time. Game path is her namesake. Oh my god, look at this chef! This is... It's... It looks awful. It look... Look at all the evenly spaced little CG people. Look at all the little, like, arms out CG people. Look how awkward they are. Look at the little CG cars. But it is a ship. Path is her namesake. Oh my god, look at this ship! Okay, but look did this movie get released before or after the Titanic submarine incident? Did this movie do voodoo? It came out before. It came out last year, 2022. Thank you for the bits, Mulk. You're very kind. I... The I... same path as her namesake. Oh my god, look at this ship! Anyway, back to uh, back to Minecraft. I just needed everyone to suffer that with me because I knew it existed. Yeah, the people, the people on the ground, they don't even have legs. They're just sliding. They do have legs. They're not working. They're they're just sliding around. I've seen so many horribly dysfunctional broken horror movies. I'm so excited for this movie now. Like, that's the thing. Like, there is something kind of nice about watching really terrible things, like really awfully made films. Make it a cheer alert. Oh my god, look at this ship. <laughs> Take the same path as your namesake to the bottom of the ocean. Okay, we, we need to dig out a bit of this. I actually completely forgot to dig out this bit in the end. So bad it's kind of good. Like watching the room. So bad it's good. Kind of. Kind of. Next, me next time we see one of OMG's cakes, incredible ship builds and silver. Oh my god, look at this ship. Don't you dare insult Tommy's masterpiece by comparing it to Asylum films. No, to be fair, the, the quality of the room is probably a bit higher than Asylum. Which isn't really giving either of them very much credit. <laughs> my question is, why did you say it like that and why did they keep it in? Maybe they just didn't think of any anything of it. Maybe they're supposed to be the caricature caricature of like I don't know a vlogger or something. I have no idea. They really were asking for it by name of the Titanic. Like they, they obviously learned nothing from the from the first one. But there's another Asylum film called Titanic Two. I'm almost sure because I remember watching the trailer on on stream once. Like, I remember it really, really clearly, really vividly. And we were having a great laugh about it. <laughs> Atria says, where's the 666 come from? It's Hodge, it's not the literal devil. They probably couldn't think of a different way to illustrate it. And Haunted Titanic probably just wasn't as punchy a title for them, really. But yeah, that means that that film must be set... Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. If that's the Titanic 3, that means that that film has to be set in the same universe as Titanic 2, which means they saw that Titanic 2 sank and were like, excellent, let's make a third one. Oh, God. Titanic 3, almost Zombie 3. Almost. Very nearly. Asylum movies are super cheap, super quick, made bad on purpose to churn out hundreds of films a year and skim money from gullible folks and those who purposely watch bad movies. And I mean, like, it's obviously working for them because they keep making them. But I'm always... I'm always completely blindsided by the actors in some of them. Dick Van Dyke has been in Asylum films. Like, I, I thought he... I, I didn't... Like, huh? You know? You know when you're like, that person wouldn't be in something like that, and then they are, and you're like, w why though? Getting him to sort of sign that contract, like, that has to be. There's something strange going on there. And that was a couple of years ago as well. <laughs> Even high row famous actors gotta pay the bills. I suppose, yeah, a job's a job. 
A job's a job. Moolah, baby. The Titanic line of ships is just a plot by Big Iceberg to sell me more death. See, there was another ship made on pretty much the exact same blueprint of the Titanic. And I can never remember the name of it. I can never remember the name of it, but I know... I don't think it was exactly the same, but it was very, very close. It was like a sister ship, and I... Oh... Oh, I think it is the Olympia. I could, I think you might be right. The HMS Olympia. Oh, that could be way worse. What? Let me up. Olympia does ring a bell, definitely. That could well be it. Do, do, do. I'm just going to fill in the floor here a bit. Oops. Oh, my torch. Losing that is torturous. Oh, it is the Olympic. I think you're right, actually. It's the Olympic. You were close, Mini Squatch. You were on the, the right track. I think it is the HMS. The RMS Olympic. That could well be it. Olympic and Britannic were the sister ships. But I think the design of them was similar to the Titanic. There's some connection to the Titanic there, anyway. That I can remember. Stud Muffed Mantilla, wasn't there the one Australian rich dude who actually tried to make Titanic 2 but never finished it? There could well be, but I have no idea why someone would look at a ship that famously sank and had, like, loads of people die and go, you know, we should make another one of those. That was great. Let's go again. <laughs> like, I think it's really wild. That, like, the Titanic, I know it happened a long time ago. I know the Titanic sinking happened over 100 years ago, but people treat it as though it was fiction it, people act as though like it's a thing that didn't happen in real life and they're not being like you shouldn't make jokes about it bloody bell like it was ages ago like it look you know you know it is what it is but people are like oh yes my favorite story the titanic but like that's okay the film is dramatized and everything and that particular storyline whatever but it's a real thing that happened <laughs> yeah the film romanticized it so much to a lot of people and don't get me wrong like you know Good film and everything in its own right, but yeah, it feels like more of a story than a real thing that happened. When Michael Caine was asked about what he thought about starring in Jaws two, he said, "I've never seen it. By all accounts, it's terrible. However, I've seen the house that it built. It's terrific. That's it. Listen, gotta pay the bills. Gotta pay the bills. No shade." Oh, Mulk says I. Do I remember this? Which Doctor was this? Because it sounds really familiar. All I can think about is the Doctor Who episode where the spaceship was called the Titanic and the Doctor and the audience immediately knew, well, it's going to be a disaster. This is not going to be good. It was Tenet. I was going to say, I feel like I remember it. Norcell Joseph, my great uncle was on the Titanic but survived, so for me, I've always heard about it as an actual event. Fair play to your... Fair play to your uncle. Great uncle. Sure, it was very great. That's mad, though. Oh my goodness. Voyage of the Damned. Oh my god, I forgot Kylie Minogue was in that. Completely forgot Kylie Minogue was in that. You know what's such a banger? You know that Kylie Minogue song, Padom Padom? Like, listen, I'm gonna be real with you. What a club banger. I have not been able to stop listening to it all summer. It is just, it just goes. It just hits. Fantastic. Floor filler. Banger. Great tune. Incredible. Anyway, that's enough Kylie Minogue talk. The Titanic really is a grave. It should be left. Just, yeah, just leave it alone. You know, I don't know if anyone talks about it anymore, but I feel like there was probably a bit of buzz in the maybe five, ten years after the Titanic film came out. And they're like, we're going to raise the Titanic out of the ocean. I'm like, leave it alone. What, what are you going to do with it? If you bring the Titanic up out of the ocean, what are you going to do with it? What? Where are you going to put it? Huh? Actually, cool fact about the Titanic. Um, do you know that there was a swimming pool on board? And even though it sank and everything, there's still water in the swimming pool. <laughs> Don't call the police on me, please. Please don't call the police on me. The police have no power here anyway. 
Now you call the guards on me, I, maybe I could be in trouble, but you know. I'm glad you put the stairs upside down in karma for that joke. I, I do deserve it. I fully deserve that. I deserved it. Uh, the swimming pool was so efficient, it actually overflowed. Amazing what they could do back in the day, huh? Amazing. I feel incredibly silly, but I just realized that the Titanic is called Titanic because it is Titanic. Like, the name's also a verb. But it's also, it's a name that has become so big a part of pop culture that it starts to lose meaning. You know, if someone says, oh, that thing is absolutely Titanic, you're going to immediately think of the boat. You know? Immediately you will think of the boat. You're not gonna... Like, you might also think, oh, very, very huge, but you're also immediately going to think of the boat. You know? Server questions. Is fall damage turned off just for cake? Yes, it's only off for me, and it's not always off. It's just because I've been flying around. Whereas, if I turn a fall... If I turn fly off... I have to make sure I actually land on something that'll hurt me. Yeet! There we go. Then I got fall, fall damage, but I've been flying around. So I'm a devil. <laughs> I'm gonna get my own ship and call it very large. Very large. Do it. Do it. This is turning out so nice. Thank you for everyone just joining in to help out with this because I would have probably tried to do it myself and that would have been silly because it would have taken forever. <laughs> it's turned off for cake because the server is a dictatorship. We know that the real dictator on the server is Dave. We know this to be true. Don't forget to pat Dave on his head. He appreciates it. And he'll remember you. Probably. Maybe. I really hope I didn't accidentally place that somewhere it wasn't supposed to go. Don't know what way we're going to do the quarters, so I'm just... No! A bat just died in the lava! Child, no! No. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, I'm gonna go back and see where the pattern of the stairs on the ceiling go. And then... Oh! Then we can just keep going. Walk around the Titan quarters and eat to things to do in Belfast. About the best thing that Belfast has these days. I do hear that it has a really, really cool um, Titanic tour that you can do. I've never done it myself, but I've heard good things about it. This is looking inc- Lads, look at this! Ow. Wait, I need to eat something. Look at this tunnel. This is gorgeous. It is coming along something wicked. Look at that. I need to swig my water. That's some good stuff. Shire tunnel. Honestly, it is. I'll show you without shaders as well. Still gorgeous without shaders. Hello. This is good. Yeah, actually, Takiki, you're probably right. If they brought the Titanic back to the surface, it would accelerate the process of deterioration. They have a motorcycle in a museum near me, not from the Titanic, that they pulled out of the ocean, and they had to keep it in a special case to prevent it from just going to pieces. Yeah, it would just disintegrate. Like, it'd be gone. There'd be nothing left of it. I don't understand why they were so obsessed with bringing it up out of the sea, because, like, what are you... I, like, what are you going to do with it? Where are you going to put it? you know? Oh, actually, I might have made this process a little more difficult by putting these here. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm gonna dig out a channel along here. Zergen! Hello! I think they shortened the word vaccine to vax because it makes you feel like you've been through a hoover. Lads, can we get some goodness for Zergen Dragon who got... Was it a double vaccine? Did you get the flu and the COVID booster in one go? Because that's, that's heavy going, lads. Jana, hello, how are you doing? Come in, come in, come in. Lovely to see you, Jana, how are you doing? Wasn't there allegedly a plan to fill it with ping pong balls? Wait, to fill the Titanic with ping pong balls? What were they going to do? Bounce it off the ocean floor and bring it back up? I... This isn't outrage directed at you, for the record. I'm just, I, I'm flummoxed by that. Flu jab and COVID jab in the same arm. Oh, I need to get my flu jab soon, actually. And my COVID booster. I need to get all my bits and bobs done. Lads, don't be forgetting to get your boosters. Very important. 
don't be get don't be out there getting the plague. And at least if you're vaccinated and you do get the plague, it won't hit you as hard. I'll tell you something. Flying Gazelle says, my work is offering double vaccine, but I work remotely and the journey takes two hours. Oh, I'd say it's worth getting. Like, I know that's a long haul, but see if you can at least make a day of it for yourself or something. Like, it would be so worth it. And then you don't have to be a hermit for the winter. And geez, even if you're a hermit, sometimes you can still catch it. You know, you'd be unlucky sometimes. I've not been offered a booster. If you ask your doctor, maybe. Maybe. Now, I know the priority for them goes to people with, you know, health conditions or if they're over a certain age or whatever. If they're vulnerable. But no harm in asking. The worst they can do is say, no, not yet. Not yet. Not for you. Boom Boom K said, I heard that about the ping pong balls. Was it to make it float to the surface? I just have an image of the ping pong balls all bouncing around inside. I'm a whole hermit that said it work and it got me eventually. You can never be too sure. You can never be too careful. Lads, you never know. You're better off being careful. Just woke up from a thick nap and let me tell you, dreams were wild. Oh, post jab vac uh, post uh, vaccine dreams are always like they are just fever dreams, you know. Everyone says to lift the Titanic. Why not try as many airplanes that crashed and submerged? I have no idea. I think it's just the image of oh, it's the Titanic. Imagine if we had the Titanic. I'm like. I, I go back to my previous question. What are you going to do with it, you know? Imagine them filling it with millions of ping pong balls and bursts and they all come out and becomes an ecological disaster. See, it definitely would. I wouldn't, like, it would definitely happen like that. <laughs> Thousands of ping pong balls bouncing around the screen or bouncing around the Titanic like old DVD screensavers. That's, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> you could charge people to watch that, probably. They should build a Gundam and it can use the Dublin Spire to spearfish spearfish the Titanic out of the ocean. Just get it like that. Um, Lux says my work also provides free flu and COVID shots, but they only offer them in every site except the one I was working in. Typical, isn't it? Typical. Pot Robber, hello. Welcome back. We're not done yet. We have plenty of digging to do. No one spooky says I had a spontaneous lucid dream last night, but my brain loves throwing random shit at me even if I'm aware I'm dreaming. I just mostly have dreams that don't make any sense. Which is funny, because I usually try to explain them to McDara and they don't make any sense. They continue to not make any sense, and they make less sense when you try and explain them to someone else, and you're like, oh. Um, Zarga says, personally, I think we should bring up the Titanic to bring the Titanic to the surface to get the, all the tech off the time travelers in it. I mean, you could. You could. Uh, maybe they won't hand it over is the only thing. I hear there are more airplanes in the ocean than ships in the sky. I... Shut up. Shut up. Feldspar, go into the naughty corner. Direct. Actually, don't. I'm just mad I didn't think of it. After the Titanic sank, it caused a change in safety rules. This includes an increase in lifeboats. One boat capsized in harbour as the increased lifeboats made it too top heavy, so it flipped. It's the kind of thing that sounds made up, but that... That fully sounds like a thing that probably did happen. Like, that's... That's gas. When a ship floats, isn't it in the sky, though? I mean, where does the sky start? Where... Where does the sky start? Like, if you were an ant... Listen, listen, stay with me for a second. If you were the size of an ant and you were looking up, if you were on the ground outside and you looked up, wouldn't everything above you be the sky? But we're in the sky, but we're not. We're on the ground. Where does the sky actually start? 
Sky starts at the blue, but you can't go into the blue. The blue is always above you or below you if you're really going far. Like, <laughs> I'm thinking of the one Philomena Kunk quote about boats. Just They just go up. Go up in the charts. Just like pump up the jam. I just like, you know when you don't think about something? Divinus Demon as well. How are you doing? Hello, hello, hello. Um, I never stopped to think about that. And I kind of regret stopping to think about it now. What is clocks? What is clocks? Oh my god, I think I still have one or two episodes of the Filmini Kunk thing on Netflix to watch. Filmini Kunk is so great. She used, oh my god, when, the, when it did the little cutaway to Minecraft, that, that, was, that was excellent. That was so good. The sky starts as soon as you don't touch the ground. So if you are jumping, are you jumping in the air or are you jumping in the sky? <laughs> are my shoes a building? Can anything be a building? What an icon. What an icon. The air is in the sky, but where's the sky? So that means that everything above ground level. Uh, everything above the ground is the sky. The sky is where the atmosphere, where the clouds are, but does that mean if you're in a plane and you're under the clouds, you're not in the sky? Conversation, me and you both had Pikachu, me and you both. Oh, goodness. Feldsfar, thank you for the bits. A man has fallen into the sky in Lego City. Oh, dear. Oh, I still have a direct line to this storage unit. Shadow Dragon, you are right if I just take some more, um, some more cobbly bits out of there. Is that okay? So I can just contribute to this. Fly on the wings of love. Fly, baby, fly. Up to the stars above. Oh, I have more here, actually, I haven't used. Did I go completely mad, or was that a Eurovision song? I think it was. I think Fly on the Wings of Love was a Eurovision song. I'm almost sure of it now that I've said it out loud a couple of times to myself and to all of you. The sky starts at the top of the skyscraper. Which one? Are we talking like a New York skyscraper or a Dubai skyscraper? A skyscraper or a sky stabber? <laughs> Your new vision! <laughs> Helene, that's, that is how excited I get about Eurovision. I understand. Okay, here we go. Now we have some blocks. We can make some contributions. From the Naked Scientist. Where does the sky begin and end? It begins at your feet and extends 300 miles up. So that means we are standing in the sky. What we see as the sky is really an optical illusion called by light being scattered by the atmosphere. I thought they'd go up and paint that every couple of years. Jeez. Wasn't there a whole plot point? I didn't actually play this myself because I, I wasn't around for that event. I haven't played the game in, jeez, probably about seven months. Was there a whole plot point and quest in Genshin Impact where the sky wasn't real? Makes you think. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to walk into you. One point one of it. Yeah, really early on. Like I, jeez, I would never have seen it. I think it's Chicken Little. No, I've actually never seen Chicken Little. You can fight me if you want. I've just never seen it. Not by choice, it just never got around to it, you know? Sky, be sky belong begins and belongs in Scotland. Did they bring it up in the story crest? Ah! I haven't played Genshin in a long time. I haven't had time. And I, I haven't really cared too much about any of the new characters, so, you know. All the new characters, like all the, I know this sounds really bad, but all the lad characters always look like Yowie Hands McMike to me, so I'm just like, I don't, they're all right. There's nothing wrong with them. They're just, I'm not interested, you know. 
Oh, main quests are getting good. It'll probably still take me another couple of business years to get back to it. I've been saving too much for some of the new characters. If there's any new in the last couple of like months, that I, I probably haven't seen them. Because I am so out of the loop. The last... Listen, this will tell you how out of the loop I am. The last person I rolled for... The last character I rolled for in Genshin was Dea. And I got her. And I was so excited and I roared so loudly that I came through on Tan's stream because I was in his living room. <laughs> it was at least a little bit funny. It was at least a little bit funny. And now she's apparently not even that hard to get, so... Look, it is what it is. Lunar Place, thank you for 26 months. I thank you very much. How are you doing? Come in, come in, come in. Yeah, it's a new country, which is a shame because, um... I... I still haven't, um... I still haven't done the quests in Inazuma yet. Yeah, she's the worst rated 5 star. I just thought she looked cool, but, like, I... I don't really care about having, like, a super powerful team. I just want to run around and hit things. I don't even remember the last time I played the game. Pretty- I don't think I've played it once. I think I updated it with the intention of playing it, but I haven't played it once, really, since Tears of the Kingdom came out. Oh. Oh! Did you scream as loud as when you found Tangy? Actually louder, because I was- I was with a couple of people. I was with a couple of people and I got so excited and we all got excited and I was like rolling around on the floor, kicking my legs and laughing. And I didn't realize how loud I was being. I, I enjoyed the new region too much. I 100% in seven days. That's impressive. That's very, very impressive. I think the most I played of it was when I realized I could just use controller on PC. For some reason, I just hadn't realized that for a long time. And I think I played a block of about six hours and I haven't really played it since. But I'll get around to it. I'm just saving stuff for myself, you know? I have so much to look forward to, so much to do. It does mean I keep missing time-sensitive quests, but like, it's fine. I don't really mind too much. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, it was on one of the Wallace Gromit streams. You just hear him go like, uh, I think someone's dead in my house and it was just me. It's just me. Oh, we're nearly there. Hang on. We do have another stretch of the tunnel to do around the corner, but, like, it's grand. We'll get to it. When I first played it, I played 19 hours straight. Oh, my God. When I first started playing it properly, I did play, like, quite a lot. Like, I do my dailies. I'd run around a bit, but I just... I fell out. But as it happens with games, you know? It just happens. Except for Minecraft. I have never actually fully burned out on Minecraft. I just put down the wrong bricks. I put down the wrong bricks. God, how many of them did I put down? Okay, not that many. Thank goodness, not that many. I need to get them out of my inventory. I don't know why I still have them on my hotbar, no less. I got burned out after Al Haytham and then I got back into it now. It'll probably come back around for me. Eventually. Eventually. But I have so many games to play. I know we come back full circle talking about games we're still going to play at some point. So many. So many games. How am I supposed to have enough time in the day to play all the games? Although, again, like I said earlier, once I have, you know somewhere I can sit comfortably and play them on the telly because I don't know about anyone else but Minecraft's like one of the only games I can really sit at a PC and play for a long time anything else I want to, I want to be sitting on the couch I want to be cozy on the couch in my pajamas cup of tea little snack and then I'll play Animal Crossing for like 10 hours straight you know just build a time machine that's how um, Device Demon says it's a shame Star Rail has all the quality life Genshin needs. I installed Star Rail ages ago when I think Shia Lily was doing a sponsorship for it, so I was like, oh, I'll, I'll download it. I was I had Zoe on my case wanting wanting me to play it, and I was like, I'll download it, I'll give it a go at some point, and I just forgot about it. I just never actually launched the game. I just completely forgot I'd installed it. My chair is basically a couch if I turn it into couch mode. Oh, I paid more money on this chair than some people spent on consoles. 
I mean, like, if you're sitting in it a lot, it's a good, it's a worthwhile investment. What kind of, what kind of chair is it, if I may ask, if you don't mind? It's a nosy. I probably need to replace this one in a while because it is not really supporting my back as much as I wish it was. And I don't want to get back pain. I do not want- Ah, uh, oopsie. I do not want pain in my back. Oh no. Oh no, I've wrecked- I've wrecked it all. It's all wrecked. I just- Oh, never mind. Imagine having back pain your entire life. Hands up. Who in here having back pain in 2023? My gang. Who out here having pains in their back day in, day out, despite doing all the right things for your back? Most of the time, sometimes, occasionally, maybe. Do you think we're just poorly designed or something? I mean, not us as people, I mean humans. Because I feel like I don't know a single person who doesn't suffer from back pain. Even, like, there's always things like, oh, you're sitting in that chair too long. But, like, I know people who go out walking and doing exercise and stuff, like, fairly regularly, and they still get back pain. They still get back pain. It might ease a little bit, but... Pain. Had... Oh, back surgery at 13. Oh, jeez, poor chicken. I hope it gave you a bit of relief, at least. Hope it... Hope it helped. I suppose, yeah, that is the cost of walking upright. Who even thought... Who thought of that? What a silly idea. It's not like it's been beneficial to us or anything. Uh-huh. Chad Dragonov says, I've damaged discs in my back. My doctor told me I believe they have to have surgery to deal with a constant mild pain for life. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, scoliosis. Yes, I've known people who have scoliosis. But it's when your your spine is a little like... Wee -wah. It's a little twisty. Or a little bendy. In ways that's not supposed to be. But glad you got surgery for it, though. Ocean Minto. Oh no, I don't take care of my back. I try to take care of my back, and my back does not really respond very well to the treatment I tried to give it. It's just like, mm, not good enough. Still oof, ouch, owie, hurty. And that's all you're getting out of me. I'm like, but why? I'm trying so hard. I'm giving you everything a healthy, growing back needs. Not that I'm growing any taller. Not that I'm growing any taller at all. Kurt Angle has such a messed up back. Oh, he's the, the wrestler, isn't he? Kurt Angle has such a messed up back that, and neck that his arms have shortened to 15 inches because of the atrophy and nerve damage. I mean, what? what? That can happen? Your arms can get shorter? I, I didn't know. I did not know. Goffington says, I lift and carry stuff for a living, so I've had to really pay attention to proper lifting techniques so I don't end up like some of my coworkers. Oh, listen, that's manual handling is no joke. Like, you really, really, really have to look after your back. In my old job, I used to work a lot, a lot, a lot on the delivery shift. So we'd be moving around, like, very heavy boxes. And not only would we be moving the heavy boxes, we'd be lifting them up and down stairs and organizing them, sorting them. And, listen, bath bombs are heavy. But if you didn't do proper manual handling, you were you were not gonna last more than a couple of shifts doing that. Like it was so tough. Like like up flights and flights and flights of stairs. And I remember once I was on a Christmas delivery shift, which was frantic. Like it was so hectic. There was so much going on. There was tons of us in there doing it. And I I was always very careful lifting stuff, but I lifted something at a bad angle once and I thought I was gonna pass out. I got this like stabbing pain in my back and like you know when you get a pain and you feel like the blood is draining out of your head? You're like... Like that. Now, it passed off. I was completely fine. And there was no lasting anything. But it was scary. Like, don't be silly about carrying stuff. Be very careful. Be very careful. Bend at the knees. Keep the back straight. I'm serious. Um, game questions. What does MSPT stand for? It stands for milliseconds per tick. So the tick rate is... Um, I don't, I can't, it's ticks per second. 
you want 20 ticks per second for optimum Minecraft server performance. It has to do with, with the world performance. I mean, you have, you have a tick rate in single players as well, I'm pretty sure. And that determines how well and how efficiently the server's running. Now, if you're playing single player, and probably on a server as well, you can, you can make the world run at a higher tick rate, which is terrifying, but it means that things spawn at a different rate and all that kind of stuff. But if the millisecond per tick goes quite high, it means that the servers are quite a bit of stress. It's starting to lag a bit, which means, like, there's lots of people online, like, asking a lot of the server, and it just means that things can lag a little more. You know? That's essentially it. I thought it stood for Microsoft Paint. Unfortunately, no. I have to break your heart. I'm sorry. Higher tick rates mean... Yeah, plants grow faster as well, if there's a higher tick rate. I've seen people do wild contraptions with messing around with tick rates and um, piglin trading where you can just throw stacks of gold and they just spit stuff back out, but, you know. And I think you can do it, you, you can make it happen with a piston, I think it's like a sticky piston setup, you can force it to have a higher tick rate. Um. Oh, banger tune. What am I looking for? Do stairs. Do 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 It is, yeah, Gen 6 vibe, it is. That's it. Generate a completely dirt super flat world. Set the tick rate to 1,000. Set it to 1,000. Set it to 1,000. Place one bit of grass and you have something nice to watch for like five minutes. Oh, does it just... Does the grass just spread really fast? Monosodium glutamate does sound like a drug, but oh my god, MSG. MSG's great. It's so nice. I mean, not on everything. Sure, not on everything, but... Add such flavor. Flavor. Umami. Where's a good place to buy blankets in Dublin? Simple throws and weighted stuff. I actually, do you know where you you'd probably go? Um, if you can't find anything in TK Maxx or Pennies, I would recommend you go to Guinies. Now Guinies looks a little scuffed when you walk around. It's a bit higgledy piggledy, and it is in the city center. But Guinies is actually a very good shout for blankets, throws, like soft furnishings and it tends to not be too expensive either it's pretty decent msg is the secret to amazing eggs i'm allergic to msg no i'm so sorry pain nothing but pain i have a little hello kitty salt and pepper shaker set and i have put salt in the salt one and the other one i have just filled with msg so that i actually remember to use it because i had it in a bag i keep i kept forgetting i'd bought a load of msg and i was just never using it so now i just have it there to shake onto stuff how do you spell it you know what i'll actually type it out for you what g u oh, wait there you go guineas you should make blanket birch. I like hoard blankets and make a nest, basically. I mean, would there be interest for Cake Jumper branded blankets? I do want to do some new merch at some point, like maybe in November or so. I just don't know what. I might just like commission some new art and stuff like that. I thought you were asking about MSG for a second. Uh, capital uh, C. I need to make more of these socks. Ooh, I'll see what fourth wall can do. I've been happy enough to stay with fourth wall because they're they're nice to deal with and their quality seems really good from what everyone's been saying. So, do 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 do. Oh yes, the business. I killed for a quality weighted blanket. Oh, I have a really good weighted blanket that someone got me off my throne wish list actually. Uh, quite a while ago, maybe like a year and a half, maybe even two years ago. I don't know how long I've had that wish list, but um, it's great. It's just one off Amazon, like it's not super super fancy or anything, but it's nice. Like it's really nice. Oh, 
This is so pretty, lads. You're doing an incredible job. This is amazing. Look at this. Look at this. Beautiful. This was just a little stone corridor a couple of hours ago. This is amazing. Lando says, I ordered a weighted blanket yesterday, hoping it helps with anxiety stuff. From what I've found, it's not a miracle cure, but I'll tell you something. It's so comforting. You know when you're just feeling like a little overwhelmed, like a little bit like that. If I sit on the couch with mine for a couple of minutes, I'll just fall asleep. Like, I'll just conk out. I'll be gone, out like a light. That's great. It's so nice. Oh, Pancake Idiot says, um... A good weighted blanket is a crocheted one with thick yarn. My mom made me one. It's amazing. Oh, that's so sweet of your mom. I really want to get back into crochet. And knitting. Both. Probably have to pick one. But both. Ideally. Ideally. Watch out. I kind of want to get one of those, like, snooty things. They have them in, te in not in Tesco's, in pennies. I'm really tempted, but I'm always worried that if I wash it, it'll go weird, you know? You know when things go weird? Now, mind you, we're going to have... Lads, I forgot to tell you something important about the move. We're going to have a tumble dryer. We've never had a tumble dryer before. We're going to have a tumble dryer. We're going to have fluffy towels. Yeah, that, that's premium living tumble dryer lifestyle we've never had a tumble dryer here we don't have space for it and I I just think they're so good for towels and sheets and big things like that you know what'd you use before dry your laundry just a clothes horse not an actual horse horses are busy but but just a clothes air which is it's fairly standard like Oh, you gotta clean out the dust filter. I had that drilled into me because uh, my mum has one. Like, I would have grown up with a tumble dryer in the house. Um, but I just didn't have one after I moved out. But always clean the little filter. Because otherwise, it can go up on fire. Do, 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 fire. <laughs> no. You go in to check on the clothes on the clothes horse and you just hear, Rehab is supposed to be a fresh start. Fucking Bojack. I love the funny little animal in your head. Thank you, Shay Splat. This is Flapjack. She has her own emote. She's a little cutie. She's a little pancake stingray. Oopsie. We love Flapjack. She's great. Be very careful. Only tumble dry your clothes for 20 minutes and air dry. Oh, what's that? I actually don't know. I know not. I've never heard that one before. Is it to do with... Um, must or mold build up or something like that. Pancakes or waffles? This is the second day this week someone's asked that question in chat. I think I'd still lean more towards a pancake. Do you know what it is? Listen, immaculate pancake, okay? Thin crepe style pancake, which is what's kind of standard in Ireland. Sugar, lemon, a bit of butter if you want. That's it. That's it. That immaculate. Immaculate. Beautiful. Perfect. Perfect. A pancake idiot. Oh, my answer is obvious. It's obviously waffles. We know. We know. It's okay. We won't tell anyone. Pancakes, but only with the discard from my sourdough starter. Can you can you do that? Powdered or granulated sugar? Oh, I'd say granulated sugar. I know. I, I can't. I know this maybe sounds weird, but I like the slight crunch when you put sugar, like granulated sugar, in a pancake with lemon. Something about it. It's good. Oh, 20 minutes is a good dint in the drying process. After that, that can remove the quality. Oh, your clothes. Oh, of course. I suppose on a lot of materials. I I had a pair of tights. Kind of like the ones I'm wearing. Not that you can see them. I'm not going to hold my leg up in the air to show you. But um, you know tights that have like little patterns on them in black, but they're, the rest of them is kind of netted. Not fishnet, just like very fine mesh. If those goes in, go in the tumble dryer, it's all over, lads. If, though, if they go in the tumble dryer, it's all over. Wait, what is this poll? Only one survives. Pancake or waffle? Vote now on your phone, lads. Only one survives. You can! Oh, it's the, one of the most recommended things to do with your discard. Make the can pancakes very nummy. I need to... I want to make a sourdough starter when I move. 
I have so many things of like, this is on my to do when we move list. And on the list so far is having a sourdough starter, starting a batch of mead, because I want to make mead. And there's probably other things on there too. Other things. This is French toast erasure. Did I tell you? I did. I showed you the image. I tried Hong Kong toast for the first time recently. And oh my god. It's so good. It's unbelievably nice. Oh. Delicious. Nutritious. Wait. I've gone back too far. So nice. The rails with the moss looks gorgeous, lads. Can we get a little for the building team? This is incredible. I know I'm contributing, but I feel like everyone else is really carrying this. This is so pretty. Surprise Flat 3 hasn't had pancake versus waffle versus French toast. I'm actually kind of surprised they haven't done that as well. I feel like that'd be a really ooh, easy one for them to come up with. Sourdough starter is just the baker's ant farm. Yeah. Kind of is. I'd love to make sourdough bread, though. I know you can't feasibly make everything from scratch at home, but I just think it'd be nice to be able to be like, yeah, I can do that. I can do that. We have a friend, and oh my god, she made some of the nicest sourdough I've ever had in my life. Like, so, so good. So, so good. Do you know what's great with dry clothes is what we found recently? Room with a closed door and dehumidifier. Yes. I mean, we use dehumidifier ourselves because the, the house is damp. So you kind of have to use dehumidifier. Even when it's warm, you kind of want one running, just to be sure. Sourdough bread and a nice soup. Oh, I'm getting hungry now, lads. I definitely have not had enough to eat, so I'm going to have to get a good meal for myself before I go off to my beddy bye. Which, to be honest, I think might be about now. I've been here for like four hours and I didn't even realize. I think I'll probably hop back on the server after stream, though, because, you know, it's fun. That's fun. I'm enjoying this. I'm really enjoying this. Thank you so much to everyone who just hopped in to help out with the tunnel. I wasn't even sure if I was going to do this today, but I'm I'm glad everyone's helping out. It's so nice. I think it's neat. I'd like to do a process of upgrading a lot of the old tunnels as well, because the new ones are so pretty. I think the old ones deserve some love, you know? They definitely deserve some love. Now, lads, come here to me. I have to ask you something very important. I know it's been a very chill one today. There was nothing too high octane, but did you all have a nice time this evening? Did you have a very, very nice time on this evening? On the evening this evening that we're here together. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so glad. I'm so, so, so glad. Um, this was really, really fun. Um, I, I've let myself do a few more low energy, like, chill streams. And I just like it. I love having a chat, you know? I love having a chat. Lux, thank you so much. <laughs> no. Thank you so much for t 41 months at Tier 3. You were incredibly kind. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so, so much. So, so much. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, I love the stream. I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna lose the lo the mi mind gone. <whistles> gone. 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 Imaha. 10 out of 10 for the first three years I could watch. Ah, I'm glad you joined yourself. Come here. I, we actually had a fair few new people. So if there's anybody new, please feel free to join us over on Discord. Make sure you read the rules when you go in and you have to agree to them. And they can get in. And you can be in there. And if you are subscribed, you're very welcome to join the Minecraft server if you want. Or just get into the behind the scenes area. But if you're not subscribed, you can also just hop in and chat and mess and carry on. You know? Yeah. Dark Blood Squid, hello. I just only showed up a bit ago, but thank you for streaming. Lovely tunnel design. Thank you. I didn't. I only came up with a little bit of the idea, but I, it was so nice to see everyone work together on it. And yeah, I'm probably going to go make a cup of tea, make a sandwich, and um, probably just keep working away on the tunnel. Because it's just nice and chill. Tomorrow... A little heads up, tomorrow is my last stream until next Wednesday because I'm going to be in Finland. And I ho I promise I'll take photos. I promise I'll take photos. Um, but I don't 100% know what I'm doing tomorrow. I'm still thinking we might play Before Your Eyes. I know it's it's a tearjerker. It's very, very emotional from everything I've been told. But I've had it sit in my Steam library for ages. Ages and ages. So we can have emotions. I wish I was going to Finland. I wish you were going to Finland as well, Zargon. Next year. Next year. Taking shark to Finland. We could take we could take one of the sharks with us. I don't know if we'll have space, but listen, we'll see. We'll see. 
All right, I'm going to start wrapping up so I can make that cup of tea. Here are the links to all of the places if you'd like to go and look at the places. We have the Discord. I'd be over on Instagram with all of my clothes and stuff. And YouTube, too. Also YouTube, that's there, too. <laughs> Who am I going to leave you with this evening? Who is online? Where will all of you go? Do, 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 do. Oh, this is making me so nostalgic. I just, I really, I just really, really, really want to play a Pokemon game sometime soon. Probably not in stream. Do you know what? This looks like a bit of crack. I'm going to leave you in Dan's care. He is... The title is just Let's Internet Explore today. That's the title. That's So I don't know what he's up to. And listen, we'll find out in good time. I'll leave you in his capable hands. And until tomorrow... I must bid you a farewell. So please, be very good to yourselves. Be very good to each other. And goodbye from me. Goodbye from Shark. Goodbye from Dave. I'll see you tomorrow, probably for Before Your Eyes. I'm going to have so many emotions. So many feelings. Oh, we're going to feel them. Goodbye. Hey, 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 hey.